Okay, we have a little bit of a different format today. Uh, people coming to stream are probably thinking, hey, what is this? This is not your typical tree bear stream. No, nah, we're, we're, we're going to do some casting today. Uh, some of you know I do some casting for DAL League, and uh, that's what we're going to do tonight. It's just hosted on my channel today. Uh, so nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. We're just switching things up a little bit. Uh, it's actually been two teams that uh, I've casted before. Uh, so yeah, it shouldn't be shouldn't be much different than when we had a like a week ago or something. So nothing uh, too taxing. Um, yeah, I'll be casting by myself a little bit. Uh, we will also be. Uh, having Treg come in later. Sure, you guys know Treg. Uh, he's casted for NM MMG. He part owner or whatever of NM MMG. So, uh, yeah, he's been all over the place. But he's going to cast with us later. I'm not sure when he'll be showing up or if he'll be showing up. It could just be us, uh, not knowing completely what we're doing. But hey, if uh, if he doesn't show up, we're still going to have fun. This is a uh, for me anyway so uh yeah this is if we do solo it's completely fine to me um and we'll see also cool okay so map bands are also up as well we'll be getting into that shortly obviously we have a little bit of a wait so it's no big deal we will try and do multiple things at once so just give me a seconds yeah so uh these two teams have played last week i watched them and it went to a full three maps and i think every single time it was seven four seven four seven four so we'll have to see if it differs this time um ascension are going by a new name now uh they got dropped by their org and they are now parentical i think that's what they're called so uh yeah we're, we're gonna have to see i don't know who had first ban uh but there are two bands already on the board uh parentical goes with coastline right off the rip and salute is going to take off cafe dostoyevsky so uh already two popular maps off the board i'd say uh i'd say that we could even be shaping up for like what we had last time uh last week we had i think it was oregon i think it was uh consulate and i believe villa so those were the three maps and like i said they were all seven four so it wasn't much uh difference there but uh yeah it was it was what it was uh i need to change my stuff real quick hold up so we are not streaming apex legends we are actually streaming rainbow six Okay, so it looks like Salute Gaming, uh, as I'm talking here, they will be taking Oregon as their first pick once again. Uh, no real surprise there. I, I was kind of expecting, after those first two bands, I was kind of thinking, you know what, they might go for pretty much the same exact ones. Uh, but either way, uh, if we see the same ones, no big deal. I think it'll be uh, still pretty fun to watch, so... Okay, I need to change the title. We are casting today, and we are not on Xbox. So, hold on, just give me a couple minutes. Uh, so, second pick coming through, Consulate by Parentical. So, this is looking almost exactly like if they ban out uh, Clubhouse, which they do. They'll probably ban out Theme Park again, and we're probably going to go to Villa in that order. Uh, so it was parentical, right? Parentical versus salute. Parentical. That's how I'm just saying. That's how we're going to say it. Parentical. I don't... Who knows if that's exactly how we do it. And look at that. They go with the theme park ban. Exactly what we thought. And they're going exactly back to Villa. So, Villa. Obviously going to be the decider. We're going to start on Oregon. And move our way over to... Uh, consulate and then the cider is gonna be villa so exactly the same as last time so hey man i uh i don't have any problem with that i think it'll be uh i think it'll be fun so 
Either way, I am still trying to um, so trying to fix a couple things real quick so we can update them. Rainbow Six, um, Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Okay, there we go. So it should be good to go. We're just going to get players in the lobby here shortly. Uh, like we said, we have Oregon first up, and it was, uh, I believe, it was Salute's pick. So if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure that was their their pick last time too. So it wasn't much different. Um, hey, I think it'll be a, a good little showing of uh, can they do the exact thing, same thing? Our uh, parental Ascension also going to be able to um, pull out bigger wins today. And I cannot really see. It says I'm online. I don't know if I am. Tell me if I am. I might just be a little late because it is there's a little bit of a delay, so don't I'm still trying to figure everything out. So first time jitters, we're all good. So uh slowly getting people into uh the lobby. We can talk about bands for, for a second here, see what we got. Um there was a lot of Thatcher bands last time. I believe it was a Thatcher, there was an ace band at one point. Um and everybody in chat was saying, oh, there's no clash. There's no clash ban. There's no clash ban. There's no clash ban. That was like the talk of the town was there's no clash ban against, I think it was Ascension or here, Parental. And uh, yeah, they kind of took storm of that and just kind of played it. Uh, obviously didn't win many rounds with her, but um, yeah, it was, it was effective enough, I guess, in that sense. Um, so yeah, I think we will have probably about the same picks you know it'll probably be about the same I'll have to see how uh how everything goes in consideration since it is a new day it's a, it's a new week i'm a sure I'm, I'm sure ascension are going to be really wanting to uh bring that stuff back especially since you know it was kind of a rough outing for them last time they lost 7-4 won 7-4 and then lost 7-4 once again on villa so, like I said, uh, these are literally the exact same lineups. La exact same lineups, exact same maps. Um, so I'm predicting exact same bands. So, Thatcher, I'm pretty sure they were banning out either Malusi or Wumai. There, there, was a, there was a couple different ones, depending on the map. But uh, other than that, I don't think anything was uh, any different. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't... I don't know. It could it could be completely different once we get into it. Like I said, it's Oregon. It could be they could find something that they didn't like last time, right? They had a said that that or the Thatcher ban was in every map, so I'm assuming probably gonna stick with that for now. Uh, let me just find just real quick. Still not okay. Interesting. So. So while we're waiting here, we still have a little bit of time to wait. Uh, we've got a few followers. Thank you very much. I'm Shamrock and Tickle Chicken for the follows. I appreciate it highly. I've uh, this is our first time doing it like this, so it's uh, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be weird, but <laughs> you know, it's it's fine. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's gonna be different. Like I said, it's just it's just all around gonna be weirdness. So, um, yeah. At least the good thing about this map is that, uh, or not this match is that I've watched them play literally last week. So, uh, know kind of what they what they got going. The a little bit of the history they've played already in the past uh, since they played last week. They both got into the strong group. Uh, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, it's going to be, uh, like I said, it's just going to be a, a fun time We're we're going to, we're going to vibe on my channel. Okay. So oh pants. Oh yeah. I'm ready. I did not see the ready. Sorry. I apologize. Um, 
Yes, I'm ready to go whenever you are. So hopefully we will make it here. Pants Jr. in chat saying he made it in time. Very good. Hello, Ponce. We're doing something different today. And, it, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Treg just joined us. Hello, Treg. You here? Oh, he's muted. All right. So he's here. We're just uh, we're just vibing, like we said. I'll have to see what he gets into. But yeah, I'm ready whenever you are. And here we go, off and on to Oregon. Okay, so like I said before, this uh, is literally the same. We have Oregon, Consulate, and Villa. It was the same as last week. Uh, and if, for you that don't know, uh, Parenticle is Ascension. Ascension got dropped last week, unfortunately, and uh, they will not be able to go under that name. So they went with Parenticle. I think it's just kind of a, a filler name. I'm not quite sure uh the full details but uh yeah first band going out by parenticle is going to be an ace so nothing too uh nothing too different from the last time so mm. if i may hop in and say hello hey, Hi, there he is to, happy to happy to join uh, my microphone has been connected um he is here yep seeing an ace stature band that's pretty chalk right off the bat taking care of uh an important hard breacher and an turn it uh and an operator that makes that happen so uh, this is, both of those off the board gonna be a little trickier to get those walls open but yeah i mean this is exactly what they had last time mirror ban exactly the same as well uh it this is pretty much mirror image of last week because uh same maps i can't say it enough but i it just baffles me that they're gonna go with the exact same maps especially Did we after see these same teams last week well, uh, it was last week, yeah. So this is Ascension and Salute. So Parenticle is actually Ascension. Uh, yeah, so Parenticle literally choosing the exact same ones. Because they, I think they had the last ban, I believe. Um, mm. And they chose Villa again. So obviously they're they're confident. Uh, Intriguing. Hopefully uh, they're a little bit better than last time because it was 7-4 on Villa. So yeah, I don't I don't know. We'll have to see. Just taking a, a quick look over the lobby. Yeah, I mean, remember a uh, plush cap actually competed. We competed both against him back in a, a long time ago on Xbox. So glad to see he's made the switch over and has been uh, thriving over here on PC. Uh, so excited to see how this game plays out. Um, and we got a clash pick. Oh boy. Yeah, this happened last time. Everybody that was in chat that was saying, "Oh my God, there's no clash ban. There's no clash ban. There's no clash ban." You know and we were thinking, what? What's going on? Why? Why are they all freaking out over you know, Clash Band? Uh, they started playing them a little bit. It never really got to anything. Really, they won a couple rounds off of it, but really, they didn't play it as much as I thought it was going to be. Um, mm. So yeah, just a just a casual clash to start the uh, the defense off of them. I'll have to see how yeah. that uh, how that affects affects things. So. so they're choosing to start down the basement instead of the top floor is an interesting interesting pick um, i think you see some team you see a little bit variety there which is nice but um, bottom four we do see two hard breachers it's gonna be interesting to see where you push it i do like about this site how um it's kind of like the clubhouse basement where you've got a lot of different options you can go from construction you can go from main stairs you can go from freezer uh a lot, of, a lot of choices here for the attackers that makes really interesting gameplay i'm interested it looks like they're shaping up for construction yeah, and we uh, we kind of saw some different pushes um, pretty much every time that they went here. So there was something new almost every time. So we'll have to see, like you said, it looks like they're trying to push through Bunker here. That clash is going to be right in their face, and then they're finally going to notice, oh, yeah, this is what happened last time. So uh, they're just going to casually drone for a little bit. Looks like they're going to try to take tower control. Three people actually sitting in a trench, two on drones. So uh, we're going to have to see what happens here. So they just barely can't get that drone. Keep it on J-Man here, the Malusi sitting on those back stairs. He's going to be the linchpin of this defense. If he falls, uh, that clash is going to be almost useless. Down there. Um, dead man walking. So uh, under some pressure, uh, use his C4 now. He's, he's starting to have to fall back a little bit. Um, here's that position. Oh, they actually picked the sledge off the Jaeger rotating in. That's a great pick right there. Keeps the pressure off their backs for the time being. Yeah, for sure. And that's... Uh... 
Soft reach down, they only have uh, a little bit more. Uh, J-Man gonna get another kill onto the Thermite nonetheless, so that's, a, that's another great pick. Plush Cat, you could see, going down the laundry stairs. And uh, Tickle Chicken just having a little trouble with the Clash at the moment, just trying to stay out of sight of all that. Picks up the Diffuser in the meantime. We'll get smoked up and throws a Flash uh, to nothing just yet. Yeah, offense is in a really tricky place here. They do still have one hard breacher left, but they've lost a good bit of utility um, and just the manpower needed to try to clear that clash smoke combo. Um, we'll see J-Man rotate down the laundry stairs. Um, the attackers here are just trying to figure out what they can do now. Um, obviously, their their main strategy, the construction push, has been pretty much wiped out. That pick on Diego is big. That gives them a lot of control back there, but weighted blanket well, goes down as attacker. well. The smoke getting a good refrag. Leaves Tickle Chicken in a really uncomfortable spot back here. I'll stop you right here. And Plush Cat going down does not leave him in a good position. J-Man will get the finish as we talk. And Tickle Chicken in a 1v4 situation doesn't have any chances. Neil Lazarus with the SMG 11 takes his dome off. Good round there um, by the defenders. They did a great job just holding their spots uh, and supporting each other. And they, they shut down that attack pretty much right away. They, um, we saw them make a good run at trying to, to scramble something together. They got a little bit of ground back, but um, the defense really just locked them out there. Yeah, for sure. That was that was pretty pretty easy. It almost seemed like they were, uh, they were pretty much just locked out with that clash they couldn't figure it out they got the first pick onto uh, i think it was simple and uh yeah from there it just started to steamroll a little bit so taking a look uh, going up to the top floor we're seeing a maestro and a cade uh locked down defensive setup up there um still two hard breachers but plush cap taking an iq um, a lot of good utility here. The entire floor is destructible, so you can take down some of those jammers with the electric claws, um, uh, ADSs from below. Could help clear some of that utility with that gun. Yeah, they did switch up their lineup, their uh, people on the lineup a little bit, so Flush Cat, obviously, like you said, on the IQ. Simple's gonna take the Ash this time. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's a little, I think it's a little bit different, correct? I, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so defense they on switched, the other hand, yeah. switched up yeah, roles think, a little think, bit. Simple yeah, takes on the bit. ash. Uh, Ten seconds remaining. I think weighted blanket is the same, but yeah, I think the hard breach are pretty much the same. I think weighted blanket, like you said, is pretty good. Uh, but yeah, on the other side, we see a lot of changes this time. No clash. We're gonna see a maestro and a cade. So uh, yeah, this is a lot like what we saw last week. So we're gonna have to see what salute can do. Uh, attacking onto this top bomb site. And starting over by this tower side. Uh, actually, they got a little bit on both. Um, looks like there's going to be a bit of a feeling out process trying to figure out which side they want to full push. They do have two hard breachers, so they could put a little bit on both. Going to be interesting to see how this uh, plays out as we go further into the round, which way they want to go. Yeah, it looks as though they want to try master, like you said. Uh, with the uh, thermite and uh yeah we'll have to see they had last time that they played there was a lot of roam clear that was having to be done uh the roamers were pretty much everywhere scattered around the map and uh yeah we'll have to see if it's the same as we see known titan as we talk is roaming on the bottom or on the first floor so yeah titan here is going to be a, a key key player in this round uh gummy takes down plush gap good uh good entry denial there from Oh, the maestro, that was through the floor. Good job being aware of that angle um, and prepared for it. And uh, made the IQ pay for trying to clear that utility from below. That's going to make it really hard to get that electro glow off, maybe even impossible. Uh, and already the attacker's back into a really steep uphill battle. Yeah, Parenticle are playing really well to start this off. Uh, had a little trouble getting into the groove last time that they played, so this is uh, this is quite a difference. It is only one team or one person down. But, uh, hey, that's all that you really need sometimes. So. And we do see the attackers have managed to open up part of tower. That's a little bit of something. Um, and actually, they clear the electrical off the master bedroom wall too. Are they going to be able to get this wall open? It looks like Gollum's going to go for uh, it. The last time that they did that, they just impacted, and they're going to miss the impact this time. And the Maestro is going to spray quite a lot and take a lot of damage off Golan, the Thermite. 
He's just gonna play and master at this moment. Just peeking around, trying to make his rotations, but Tickle Chicken on the other side getting McFulls, and that's down to a 4v4. Reloading. Yeah, clock ticking down to the last 30 seconds. Definitely plays in the defender's advantage, but this tower control is definitely interesting. They got uh, two angles now to try to make this push, and the defenders are, are pushed deeper into sight here. Lazarus is going to be the first man up. Deals a little bit of damage on to the Havana, and keeps him propelled for the time being. Only 15 seconds here. The attacker's really going to need to put their foot down on the gas. Gummy takes down Gallen, and another one will fall as well. Uh, all down to weighted blanket, and he'll be gunned down trying to make his way into white stairs, and that's a good lockdown there from the defenders. Yeah, once they hit that 4v4 and a little time left, it, uh, it almost seemed like it was game, set, match at that point. And yeah, they could not find their ways in. They had their cover or their angles covered and just got taken out one by one. Pretty easy on the side of a uh, parenticle, as it was looking like. Yeah, they did an excellent job there. Um, their utility eventually did fall, but that, that opening pick on the IQ was huge because even though they got the walls open, it took them a lot longer than I bet they were hoping. Um, and they weren't really able to leverage those angles they created. Uh, so when the time came for the 4v4 and they had to they had to rush in there, just running into a meat grinder there, that maestro in a, in a tight situation like that, no matter how many numbers there are, just keep that all to spray and you're going to see some pretty good results. Oh yeah, for sure. That's why people love it so much. I mean, it's got so many bullets. You can't, you can't deny that uh, that you love that many bullets in a gun. Mm. It's, 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 it's a monster. Exactly, man. So migrating down to the tertiary bomb site, uh, going to be the kitchen and dining room. Uh, this tends to be the more popular third option, but it's, it is pretty similar to the meeting room in the way that it plays out. Uh, Interest. So they're opening up all of the bathroom here. They seem to be opening into CCTV as well. We've seen a lot of that lately. Uh, the castle's a nice compliment. I think it's really important on this bomb site. Gonna try to to keep them from from getting on the flanks of the setup and a little bit of top floor setup as well. Let's see. Uh, let's see how well they can hold it. If they lose one of those key rooms, either upstairs or the bathroom or CC as well, but that's harder to get into. Um, you're going to see this defense fall apart really quick, so they need to have a strong map presence in order to keep this in control. Yeah, this is looking almost identical to what they were doing uh, last week. I mean, they haven't changed much up, that's for sure, but uh, hey, if it still works, you don't need to fix anything, really. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see a couple people upstairs, a couple reinforcements, barricades going on up there. So it's going to have to be more than likely a hard push off of the uh, top floor. Fulls plan and a nice, nice angles outside of the showers, uh, and just making sure J Man wobbling around as much as he does uh, is protected as well as the other people upstairs. Oh wow, bold reinforcing that uh that wall with so many people nearby. Some Bill uh, is pushing as well as I believe the sludge was out on that close window. Uh, Going to be a lot of pressure up on J Man and Gummy. Let's see how they hold it up. Yeah, they're probably thinking now, man, I thought that was just, wasn't that just soft like two minutes ago? Like, uh, anyway, he, they are going to have to figure out a way around this. There's probably a couple angles that they are holding pretty well right now. Simple is in a by attackers. pretty good spot to try to frag out anybody. They got drones on, so they know exactly where he is. He just can't push because, I mean, what? where else is he going to push? He's going to get absolutely sniped from the other way. And somehow, that angle is not covered. So Castle is all alone up there by himself. Jaeger did not quite hold the angle at this point. Ash charge is going out, and it's going to be really hard for the castle to stay up there if, if he's even up there anymore. Yeah, that was a huge cross, but no, he's been able to drop the hatch and get back down. And uh, the Jaeger on white stairs manages to take out the Zofia as well. So not only did they run about two minutes off the clock and uh, take a couple of Habana pellets and some time with them, uh, they'll lose the Jaeger actually uh, through the hatch. A little bit of reckless play there. But uh, killing two minutes off the clock and not even getting the kill is really unfortunate here for the attackers they're gonna really need to pick up the pace in the in the last third of this round to make up the lost time one thing we saw earlier too is gummy was all the way downstairs like he was on the roam so he's gonna be a factor coming into this late round and man tickle chicken getting absolutely annihilated by mcfoles in the shower window neo lazarus is also in the same area so it's really coming down to the last three attackers to pull this out I mean, still downstairs as well so like i said this presence is going to be heard just in a little bit neil lazarus is going to take the fight with plush cat here soon 
peeking, but he's on the wrong side, and Neil Lazarus gets an easy pick at that. Nice, nice coverage by both teams. And there's the presence once again from Gummy the Castle going all the way downstairs, and it's all up to Simple, but he can't do anything. Known Titan getting the headshot. Man, Parentical are just in control today. Yeah, that was a textbook defense. That was beautiful to watch there by Parentical. Uh, I wish I had one of those nice ESPN boards where I could pull up the replay and start highlighting things in yellow. But you saw the Jaeger <laughs> on, <laughs> on the top of White Stairs and the castle over in a uh, in kids' room. They had that perfect 180 crossfire where if anyone tried to walk in, they're getting shot from both sides, right? And eventually it fell apart, and the castle was able to rotate perfectly, which was great. Uh, you saw it again there with the kill uh, to, I believe it was the Zofia who was trying to peek. Uh, the smoke and got shot in the back by the mute or vice versa, right? Um, just great 180 crossfires as well as they just killed so much time. That uh, attacker strategy was all built around that vertical play with the, uh, the sledge and the ash. But by the time there was only a minute left and they could start opening up their holes, there's not enough time to actually make an impact there. Um, Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. So it got to the point where someone needed to just make an eight play and, and nothing materialized for them there. Um, great job by the defense. Can't credit them enough on how well they played that. And that's three runs in a row for Parentical on defense on Oregon, which they lost the last time. So this is... Uh, it was a lot closer last week. So, uh... Parentical picking up their, their stuff and uh, really coming back to uh, show Salute. Hey, we are not going anywhere. We're trying to win this one for sure. Uh, we, we, we saw what we did last week. They have the confidence, right? They have the exact same picks. So. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, going back down to the first floor, gonna be interesting to see what adjustments uh, are made by your brothers attacking school. Loading mag. Maverick over the thermite. I'm not looking at this lineup. It looks like they may just go for a. That looks like a. Oh, so you don't really bring that Maverick if you're going for construction. So I like to see that variety. I think uh, they didn't bring a clash on defense, but still they've got a really oppressive setup with the Malusi and the Smokes and the ADSs. Um, I think going for something a little different may be worth their time here, like we're seeing. Back, so they might be trying. Just switch um, things up, maybe just slightly, but uh, we'll have to see. Flash out. Uh, things I need to try to uh, get this back. Yeah. I just need to reload it real quick. We are having some technical on the side. So we're down to, uh, down to about halfway through the round. Not much has happened. And uh, the smoke's back. retreated and reinforced the wall. And, uh, Attackers still haven't been. It hasn't gone poorly, but they really haven't seen the results they needed to yet with only a minute 30 seconds. Magazine. A bomb has been located. See you on the other side. One storm. Let's Anything start well. making a push here. Once again. Being a little bit of, we'll have to see. We can hear stuff. Unfortunately, we can't quite see everything. Um... Really looking forward to watching this. Can't quite see it, so it's all in you, Trey. That sounded like someone being killed. I'm not. I'm not seeing much either. Yeah, I think so. Uh, it's just, I think uh, it's just strain at this point, but. We're in a 4v1 for the defense. Weighted blanket gets one pick, but gets taken down by Titan playing over on the bomb. Um, by the looks of it, it just looks like they were never actually able to get out of barrels in construction. And uh, they never got the walls open. They never got through. Even with a, uh, even with a Maverick and a Habana, they just couldn't quite make it happen there. Um, 
So, again, great job by the defense. And you really want to see them. I mean, they're not going to get another chance because they're not going back down to the basement. But that's twice in a row they walked right into just a massive defensive setup and weren't quite able to clear all the utility and get those walls open. Uh, it's, it's not an easy site to attack by any means. Um, but, I mean, they just keep walking into it again. You want to try to see them switch it up. Yeah, I, I mean, Salute have been doing next to nothing uh, when they're attacking. I mean, they, they have not gotten around. They haven't even really come close. They almost got a plant off on that last one, Defenders protect but then it got stopped, so it didn't matter anyway. Uh, so, yeah, they, they really have to make, mix something up, because at this point, Salute are, uh, might not even take any rounds on the uh, their attacking half. Yeah, um, bringing a Valkyrie this time around on J Man. He's he's really gone the full gambit of uh, of operators here, and we've seen now they're bringing the Thermite Maverick combo. They keep switching up. They really haven't seemed to find a lineup they're feeling comfortable with yet. Um, really, the only uh, the only consistent part of this lineup has been weighted blanket on the Zofia, who's been performing decently for sure. But nobody's really making the impact they've needed to four rounds in. Yeah, for sure. And as uh, as we see, this is a little bit different, like on the top four. They didn't bring the Maestro this time, so maybe that'll be a bit of a factor. Uh, we do see the Valkyrie, which uh, we have seen last week. We saw uh, we saw Valkyrie played a couple times when these when these guys played last week. So uh, yeah, we'll have to see how that affects things. It really seems like per uh, Parenticle. That's and screw me up all day, uh, but it really seems like they started to figure out what they were doing wrong, and uh, obviously the scoreline is 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 pretty pretty uh, pretty damning of that, I, I'd say. Yeah, no, we've just seen this defensive team playing really strongly. They're they're in the right spots at the right times with the with the right utility, and the attackers really haven't been able to to untangle this mess here. Now let's see what kind of vault cams they had. Unfortunately, like so it's off at last second, whiff. but yeah, that might have been quite a little bit of a whiff. We we'll have to see here as uh, this is looking a little different this time. We do see the thermite trying to go through master, but Sophia is downstairs trying to get it this time. They have no IQ this time, so that's a bit different than what they had last time. The nomad coming out to play from plush cats. That's going to be completely have recovered their diffuser. Uh, so they did get the utility off the wall. They're trying to get it open. Um. Actually, now they pull off. Uh, Kate's still got one charge left. He may be trying to trick it. And we do see the charge being put down on the wall and taken back off again. Yeah, he's definitely trying to, to play the game, a uh, debating game here, trying to get that charge electrified. Um, and the thermite seems to have pulled out completely for the time being. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like the exact same push that we saw last time. But so, yeah, it's just taking a lot longer to get this wall open for some reason. And there was somebody downstairs, but uh, the Cade is just looting everybody at this point. They, they are not able to get anything. And it seems that there's a pick from above. Yeah, that was the Zofia trying to go get the Cade charge. Cade is going to just protect it perfectly. And uh, yeah, they really have no answer for this Cade on, on, uh, on game's wall right now. Yeah, with that down, unless they want to send another body down below to try to take it out, they're not going to be able to get that wall, that Kate off the wall. Once again, they've managed to get tower control, but how can they complement it? Again, with 40 seconds left, and uh, down goes the Ash. It leaves Maverick in a real tricky spot here. He has to get that kill onto the Kate. That's a good start. Um, but I think the damage has been done with a 2v4 with only 30 seconds left. We see this once again. Maverick making an aggressive play, takes down one, but gets taken out from behind. And J-Man will finish off Gollin to end this round and bring it to a 5-0 advantage. Yeah, that's uh, it's looking kind of rough if you're on salute right now. They uh, they just can't seem to find any groove. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not working. There's unfortunately a disconnect, so we're going to have to pause real quick. Uh, while we do, let's let's talk about this dominating uh, defensive side on the side of Parenticle. Like, what are you seeing coming out of Parenticle that you like, considering you didn't quite watch this last week, right? I've been seeing all sorts of great stuff. I mean, their utility game has been excellent. You've seen a bunch of uh, Malusis, you've seen a bunch of Mute Jammers and Cade Charges um, that just don't get cleared. Um, and part of that's on them putting things in the right place and, and watching them properly. And some of that's on the attackers not being able to properly clear it. But I'm also seeing a lot of um, 
I mentioned it before, great crossfire positions out of uh out of this team, which is which is always good to see. You like to see a team playing great fundamental siege. Um and we're and we're seeing that here today. And the fundamentals just seem to be a little bit lacking over on the uh Defenders salute gaming side of things and it reflects attack. itself in the scoreline. Yeah, for sure. We're gonna have to see if they can uh, if, they, if they can scavenge this last attacking round. Uh, one five is better than 0-6, That's for sure. Those are just numbers. And uh, at this point, salute really need a round. So yeah, now, if, for not just the scoreline, but the mental aspect of it. Um, you look at a five, five one, you're like, all right, we we can work on this. It's a defender sided map. We're coming into our defensive side. Um, you have a little bit of wiggle room still with that uh, that one round you can lose before the match point. If you're coming into it down 6-0, you know it's, you're already back against the wall. No matter how defender side the map is, it's, it's a tall task against any team to win six, six rounds in a row, right? Um, especially with the mental game of just being obliterated in that first half. Um, it's really tough to come back. You need this round here. Yeah, this is going to be, like you said, mental more than anything, right? Because the switch is only a round away, so that's probably what no, they're going to do Even if you've given up on winning this this particular game of your salute, you need to think about just putting some something on the board, right? Even a 6-3 a loss, you come out of it feeling a lot better than you do a 7-0, because you still got two more maps to play potentially. Um, you come out and you get shellacked in map number one, you're not going to come out in game number two with any sort of spunk. So um, putting up a fight here and at least making things look respectable on the scorecard is going to be really important here for Salute. Yeah, and like I said, this is a lot different than last time. We had 7-4 scoreline on every single map, which by the way, if you're uh, just seeing it, this is, uh, this is exactly the same maps, exactly the same teams. Um, as well as last week, so I don't know what to say much more than that. It's gonna, it's much, much more different than uh, than what it was last week. Ready to torch. What did you say the maps were after this? It was Consulate, and then Villa is the cider. Consulate and Villa. That's going to be interesting, and in that those are those maps are a little bit more wide open. Uh, not quite so so locked down like Oregon is uh, a lot more open angles so maybe maybe that little twist will will play into Salute's favor but uh, it's... the one thing that it is though is consulate was parenticles map and so you know that's that's not but looking uh, it's not looking great that's salute. certainly suboptimal being down this big on your map um that's a couple of good picks in their favor brought into a 3v3 um, but we're seeing it again one minute left and um, there's no verticality here um, in terms of operators in the soft breach uh, they do get that pick which is big but they're going to need to play this vertically which is a lot harder on the site with this little time plush cap with another great frag though will take down neo lazarus his team needed a boost and he's provided it this round um, 3v1 here they can't afford to lose this 45 seconds let's get the intel let's make a smart push let's get the plant down and let's hold it out nice and smart fundamental siege here they blow open the wall too they know about titans rotation. if they don't you take a free pick and rotate out and it really cause some trouble here yeah, and this uh like position revealed he falls back down to the basement they know he's coming on this flank and uh plush cap will take care of him right away good job by plush cap uh putting up a strong performance that round i've been really impressed uh by tickle chicken as well he made a couple of really strong plays it seems like those two are going to be the ones to provide that really strong burst into the second half if we're going to see that come back some explosive plays yeah for sure and that's uh that just might be the thing that they need to uh kick start that comeback right uh that's it's, it's still a possibility of you know overtime uh but hey they could come back and win seven in a row and win this map uh, that'd be huge right uh you don't see it a lot but uh that would be fantastic to watch that's for sure yeah no um it's it's definitely unexpected um but it's not out of the realm of possibility at all uh taking a look at these operator selections goyo is an interesting one i like to see goyo played you don't see attackers oh. need to locate and defuse bombs a whole lot of it um, nowadays is really starting to fall out of the meta. Um, and a Capitao, which I love seeing Capitao. It is um, your new main. The Capitao is one of those operators that's, he, I mean, he's a lot of fun to play. He's a really strong operator. He brings so much attacker side utility. Um, it really brings out the inner counter strike within Rainbow Six Siege. You know, the, the smoke and molly executes. 
um, that that really make that, that game so special. When you bring a Capitao and you know your team knows how to use them, you can you can bring that same sort of element, which I think is really special. In this. Yeah, I'm excited to try to see that I happen. I think he might be a lot better than. Uh, I mean, Blackbeard at this point, I mean, Blackbeard just getting nerfed in the ground. I mean, Capito just might be leaps and bounds better than, than uh, Blackbeard at this point. Don't you agree? Unnecessary roughness, tree bit. <laughs> 15 yard penalty, still first down. And so we see this round start to pull. Maestro Goyo combo. It's That's going to. really quick their initial push or else they're going to run out of time really soon um that's what like if you play it right over over a minute of clock denial um so if they aren't ready to make their push with a minute 30 left they're going to have a real tough day out here and we'll have to see what kind of uh what kind of situation we can get uh into as we see the first attacking route for french goal for defense for sloop uh Gonna be a, I, I expect it to be a little bit different than what we saw uh, last half, but uh, you never know. Like I said, it could come back yeah. in, in every single round. Again, but. We're seeing a lot of clock tick out. We're not seeing a whole lot of progress. They've taken the top floor and they're starting to get this hatch and that's a long range low torch. Wow, I didn't think that would reach, but uh, um, uh, clock is not their friend at this point. They're gonna need to come up with an unorthodox push to get around those uh, smokes and goyos if they're not careful with the clock here. Um, minute 30 left, halfway through the round. Not a lot to show for it, so I'm to put the gas here. Yeah, this is going to be interesting to see. There's a couple stacked up entrenched, and they are just kind of stalemate at this point. It's the smokes are just blocking them off. They can't do anything at this point. Yeah, no, we're going to be looking at another 45 seconds of those attackers being completely stalled out if they don't come up with something to, to get rid of the smoke and soon. Uh, Sophia on the back stairs is going to try to make some noise to be able to push through, but not a lot of options here um, until that hatch gets open. Even that provides limited opportunity to try to make this push. J-Man's advanced a bit. They've destroyed the shield, uh, but another smoke grenade goes out, and that'll keep them pushed back for at least a little bit longer here. Oh, he actually shot one of those smoke grenades out. That's that's remarkably clutch. That frees up about 12 seconds for them to be able to make this push. Um, and that grenade comes out. Ooh, deal, big deal, deals big damage. And we see all sorts of attacker presence right now in a 4v3 situation. One of them on low HP. 20 seconds left, not a lot of time, but they can make something happen here. C4 goes out and doesn't seem left. to have connected. Final 15, starting to make something happen. They seem to be held down. They couldn't get the wall open, but J-Man manages to get the smoke through the wall. All the same attackers flooding into the bomb site. Takes down Tickle Chicken, and Mick Foles with the double kill. Takes down both remaining defenders and gets that match point generating win for um, not Ascension Parentical. Yeah, that's uh, that's quick. I got to say, that's... Uh... That's just quick. I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what to think about this. The looter just not on their game right now. They are getting just ran over. That looked like it was so in favor of salute, right? They had so much control. They even got that uh, reinforcement off so late into the into the uh, into the round, and they still just kept getting picked. And uh, man, it just did not seem like it was up for them anymore. Uh, and by the way, Chandler, thank you for the gifted sub, my dude. Mm. Uh, not to yeah. not to overly highlight uh, one specific Attack negative play, but there's just a little bit of sloppiness with how they played out that the last few seconds. I think a couple of uh, smoke grenades and C4s were thrown out prematurely, and uh, when they, like the Maverick was taking out that wall a little bit, um, there's no reason for the smoke to have to push that. You could have just sat back and waited for the, because the wall wasn't open, there was just a couple of peek holes. Uh, you could have found a position to, to counter the push, and instead he peeked that and got gunned down by the ash. Um, which really was just a big hole taken out. It turned it from a, a 4v3 to a 4v2. And um, in that type of low time situation, those numbers are really important. Um, so just a couple of little sloppy plays there cost a, a round that was set up so promisingly and, uh, and really just sent it downhill. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to see Attackers what kind of and the uh, what kind of adjustments we are gonna see from Salute. Obviously, like we said, it's match point. This is uh, this is all that they have to give right now. Uh, looks like they're kind of in panic mode almost. As uh, we're gonna see it go upstairs. I'm assuming it's gonna be relatively the same uh, last time. So we'll have to see what kind of adjustments we can see coming out of the uh, Salute. But uh, like I said, panic mode. Yeah, I've said it before, but uh, I think it bears repeating that um, it's just critical. We'll try to get a couple rounds on the board here. Um, that 7-3 loss looks a whole lot better than the 7-1, uh, especially when it comes to your mental game going into the next round. So, Especially um, when it's not even your map pick either. Yeah, so, you, you, you need to at least go down and fight. It here. is your map, yeah. Yeah. So, next map is Consulate, like we said, but before that, we are going to have this match point coming out. Uh, we'll have to see. There are many match points that uh, Parenticle has, and somebody went down, and I do not know who it was. Yeah, we're, we're looking at a Dormy 5 situation here to bring out our, our golf match play terms. It seems like an even trade of uh, Foles and uh, uh, getting the kill, and I'm guessing Simple got the other onto J-Man. Uh, Simple playing those frag operators, having a, a rough game at 2-8 and eight so far. Um, you really need him to start making an impact play in that frag and roll. Uh, this won't be the round. Uh, again, the opening frag was nice, but um, a one-for-one -one trade this early is, is never ideal. So tower wall is open. Weighted blanket here is in a really strong position with this. Malusi's ADS's and a deployable shield to just lock down that hallway. Keep an eye on him. Uh, if, if he falls, the rest of the defense might along with him. Yeah, this drone giving him a little bit of trouble, but uh, he's gonna have to keep watch because it looks like uh, we got a couple people coming around the other way. You see McFull's jumping out of the kitchen hallway window. He might be going on that rappel, and it looks like they might be pushing a very strong push towards that uh, uh, side, trying to get this guy out of there. Yeah, it looks like all all hands on deck to try to get this push. They're they're fully rotated over to this north side of the map, uh, trying to get it taken to kids' room on the windows. And mm, a minute left, not a lot of time to make this happen again. Four four defenders left, and that maestro and the smoke are gonna eat up a lot of clock. So the the longer they take, the the harder this is gonna be. Attackers are activating the. Uh, Plank going down, Gummy made his way in through the window, and his, uh, Plant is down. And uh, we have ourselves a defuse situation here. That's exactly what Salute needs to try to build momentum into their side and try to carry this on, uh, live to fight another round. I am having some trouble, so it's all on you, Trey. <laughs> uh, I, did, I've, I've just, I heard the defuse go off. I'm going all off audio right now. It sounds like the round has ended. I would assume it ended in favor of Salute Gaming since they got the defuse. Um, so good job by them on, on getting that done. Yeah, I don't actually know. We'll have to see. It's, uh, I'm not too sure what's going on, man. It's, uh... So it's either 6-2 or the game's over. We'll, yeah, we'll let you know. <laughs> once we once we know we'll let you know but uh, at this moment i am stuck on a, a loading screen and yeah i'm gonna restart okay so we ended. just got word that the game is over uh we didn't know that because we couldn't see it but well i'll yeah, be apparently damned. parenticle took it seven one uh yeah they got the uh they got the defuse off way, way to go by parenticle way to way to play nice. the objective and uh, get that defuse yeah, that yeah, exactly what we saw, right, Treg? That was yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, exactly what we saw. Great retake. They really, they really fought hard to take that one. Wrestle it back from those attackers. Uh, parenticle were on attack. Oh, that makes a lot more. Sense. That makes a lot more sense. Yep, that, that makes, makes a lot, a lot more, more sense, sense, doesn't it? To the team that planted actually, uh, <laughs> actually held it out and got the win. That, oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Man. Yep. That. It is what it is. I guess uh, I guess we're moving on to uh, Consulate, which, as we said before, I'll say it again, just for uh, everybody that's watching. Consulate is Parenticle's map. Yeah. That is going to be rough if you salute. That is going to be very, very, very rough. Yeah, losing your own map 7-1 to... Right uh, losing your map 7-1 to start a best of three is a real jagged pill to, squall to swallow. <laughs> so... Um. 
I mean, nothing's, we've seen crazier things happen. You and I casting, we've seen way, way crazier things happen. We, this is, yeah. I mean, this, we've this casted a 2.5 Xbox on Siege. That's just stupid. Oh, yeah, that's just, mm. Uh, I won't say it, but it rhymes with idiotic. Rhymes with idiotic. Let's just say that. Yeah. yeah. Is it super rhymes idiotic? idiotic? It's super. Yes, dude. How did wow. you know? Wow. Treg is like on another. It's almost. It's like, it's almost it's like we've we've cast it together like multiple we times. We know what's before. going on inside our brains. It's like we finish each other's sandwiches. Mm. Oh, okay. All right. Well, Treg obviously doesn't know that one. Oh, I see that one went way over my head right off the start. Um, <laughs> got the first one. But, uh, yeah. That's all right. It's all right, Treg. I am still having trouble, by the way. So this is a rip. Yeah, let's let's cut to a quick break here. We'll be back shortly. Um, bear with us here. <laughs>
All right. All right. Yep, I see your screen. We good to go? All right, all right. So we're back. All right, Treg is having some difficulties. We will see if he can be able to get back. Um, Hi. Okay, he's back. There he is. His uh, mic decided to not be disconnected, and he's back. All right. And here we are. So consulate, we're going straight into it. Consulate. Uh, yeah, we're gonna see Habana be the first one, right? And that's not too bad. And... Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's a logical ban. We see a lot of a lot of Habana bans since they they changed her. She's a uh, she's really strong. Nice. So, as I said before, last week we saw Thatcher bans on every map. Just nobody liked him. That's just what happened. Valkyrie, very understandable. Uh, just consulate and Valkyrie go go hand in hand, pretty much, right? And those those palm trees are pretty annoying when you got a Valkyrie camp stuck in there and can't even see it. So, <laughs> we'll I see what's it. going on. And last but not least, we got the Wumai ban. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is exactly the same. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah this okay. this feels off. Awfully, awfully uh, familiar. Oh, is uh, something the matter? I think we're getting called for a rehost or something. In DDO, it seems we are. All right. So we're going to talk a little bit more about consulate. So, uh, Trey, I'll get you a little cash. You're a little caught up. Last week. Like I said, same maps, right? We had Oregon, now Consulate, and then Villa, right? Same maps. First map, 7-4. Second map, 7-4 in the opposite way. Villa, 7-4 in the first one. So, uh, so far we've seen a 7-1 map on Oregon. That, uh, that, that's a lot different, I'd say. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't. I don't know what to say about uh, about this outcome that we saw in Oregon. It's 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 massive. yeah, it's, it's a massive the, change. So not the start they were looking for, uh, for sure. Um, it, it's interesting to to look at this. Let's let's talk a little bit about cons. I was um, easy what, to what figure do you think out about how to consulate. Um, definitely one of my uh, one of my favorites. You are gross. <laughs> you play Blackbeard. You can't say anything, man. Ah, uh, well. Uh, regardless, we are. Uh, um, I think consulate's interesting in that the bomb sites all have a bunch of different interesting merits. Of course, I think the top floor is everyone's everyone's be favorite choice still. Uh, but I like how it's it's attackable from multiple angles. Right, you can go for a yellow window take, uh, or you can go for a, an ad. It's, yeah. Can you keep the wall close to the um, really the story of Rainbow Six Siege? Uh, Bands were Thatcher, Habana, uh, oh, oh so one you, the, okay, one to the right, road down, fourth yeah. column. From left to right. The fidget spinner. 
The fidget, yeah, okay. The, mar the maroon fidget spinner. Uh, the one below that one. Um, the other one is uh, not the sledgehammer, but the one to the right of it in the top left corner. Yeah, bottom so... left corner on the deuce. Um, Where is she? So one to the right and three down. Uh, the one, the bottom left one. And perfect. Um, yours, yours hasn't refreshed for me yet. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yep. Let her rip. Perfect. Okay. So, where are we still getting in the game? What was what, what were we talking about again? We were talking yeah. about consulates. Um, Cons like consulate oh. bomb sites. So I I like the top floor that you can attack it from either side, which is always fun. Um, lobby, it's it's objectively a terrible bomb site, but there are a lot of teams that are really good at defending it because if you just if you frag out, it's sometimes there's nothing you can do. Mm. Um, and then obviously there's split, I and mean, there's never been a bomb site that's been split, be it. Um, Old Hereford, be it um, House. There's never been an, a split bomb site that's actually been any good. Um, and this one is is kind of similar, but you do get the fun strats where like five people are running C4s, um, and yeah. those are always interesting. So and that's something um, we saw last week as well. Uh, yeah, we didn't see CEO office at all. Not once. We didn't see it at, didn't at all. Fast. So uh, neither team, neither team liked it. Uh, they just went for basement, lobby, and split. And yeah, they didn't even touch that other one. And uh, yeah, I think it was uh, it was a lot different than I thought. You know, they everything had, anti meta. You know, that, yeah, it was it was anti meta. But uh, hey, maybe it's new meta. You never know. Like I was saying, I was like, man, I don't know what's going on. But uh, you know, some worked, I'm some didn't. For, I, I don't know. It's uh, I'm all for a little variety here and there, right? Yeah, that's true. Uh, one thing we did see is from the bands, we didn't have a Mira ban, right? So uh, last uh, week we saw Mira strats. I'm assuming this week we're going to see Mira strats. Uh, so yeah, I just... Uh, oh, nothing worse than Mira. I, Mira strats on this map are... I'm not a fan of uh, Mira strats in general, but Mira strats on this map, there's never been good ones, so I'm fascinated to see what, what they have in store. What, what, what strats were they running? So there was there was pretty much uh, they would yeah, run the Amira uh, on this on the what? Oh, we can hear. Okay, gotcha. Anyway, um, anyway, uh, so the Amira stress, right? So we saw it on split site. They were downstairs. They had holes opening up into the storage closet, and they could see okay. a long way down the hallway. Uh, other one right, is in that. blue electrical, and you can see down the stairs. So. A little, uh, a little different, but uh, yeah, they had, you know, there was a lot of C4s. Like you said, there are a ton of C4s when you play that site. Because if you don't have C4s, it's hard to, hard to play that. And uh, yeah, so words, words come in from the game. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, was... Salute Gaming has left their org mid game. <laughs> that I might be actually... a meme. Yeah, I don't know if that's uh, that's true, but uh, either way, you heard you uh, heard it here get... first though. If that is true, breaking news. Tra salute Tra gaming is no longer here. Sleeping. Yeah, if 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 that's true, you heard it here first on Tree Bear's channel. Don't forget that. Mm. So yes. <laughs> anyway, we will see. Okay, so this is something interesting too. Uh, since the Habana is banned, we're going to be seeing the Ace immediately picked, as well as a Yana. We have been seeing a lot of Yana. Just on on consulate, we didn't see. I don't think we saw Yana once on Oregon, did we? Uh, no, we were seeing no no Yana. Um, we didn't see any AC either, seeing that he was banned. Right. So uh, yeah, this is a bit different. Um, bit of a different uh, lineup coming Thank through you, from, from uh, parent <laughs> parent parenthetical. Okay, so maybe. Oh, okay. So it's not parenthetical. It's parenthetical. So. Maybe that's what they were talking about. Craig. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a, that might be the, what we were thinking. Uh, uh, so, 
That's a much better name than parenthetical. <laughs> parenthetical. That's a parenthetical. You can't, you can't even say it. A, you can't even still not it. a great long-term yeah. name, but uh, it's a definite improvement over parenthetical. It's a it's a filler, you know. It's just a it's just a good filler, you know. Yeah, it's, it's that's fair. Um, so we're starting with basement, but that is a loaded for sure. They're just they're anchoring down in basement. This feels like real strong out of year two, and I love it. Oh boy. Yeah, for sure. We will see the Cade being played once again. And like we said before, uh, mirror strats. So uh, I guess that's the one that I forgot as well. They uh, they like to play mirror on the garage site. Yeah, that's it's certainly interesting. I think this has gone out of the meta um, and for very good reason in recent years. Um, but honestly, like as it's a lot of fun to pull. Wait, they, they don't actually have a mirror upstairs. No, so they have. They, fu they fully reinforced all three of those walls. They put it a. So they put the other mirror window. They put the other main mirror window in the cafeteria wall facing yellow pillar. So that's. I'm pretty sure that's where the other one is. Um, how bizarre. So yeah, how well, bizarre. I think we see the, I the mean, mute. Was the mute upstairs completely alone? I think it was the smoke actually upstairs. It could have been the mute okay. though. Um, right. One of the other is in charge of just locking down bathroom for as long as you can and holding the hatch. Um, mm. Interesting that like, um, like there's no wall denial up there. Just send the ace into the piano, take out the, the cage charges from above with any of the operators that can and just blow open the wall and destroy them that way. I mean, it is, this doesn't seem bulletproof, this strategy. Um, good opening pick from the Cade, taking out J-Man before he got gunned down upstairs. Interesting positioning on that Cade. You really didn't expect that. But, um, yeah, just fascinating cool. positioning out of Gallen here. I'm not sure how this is going to play out. I like this, though. The smoke is still covering from downstairs, though. So, yeah, I guess uh, they don't need a smoke upstairs if he's just going to cover from downstairs. I don't want to say I like it, but I'm not going to say I hate it yet. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't think, have a bias on it, I, is what you're saying. I think there's there's a lot of holes in this. Um, it's going to be it, it's just weird enough that it could catch parenthetical off guard for this first round. We'll have to see as, you know, it's still 4-4. Four, four. Nobody's gone off the board other than that, I believe. I'm to having, our knowledge. Yeah, I am having difficulties again. Um, but by the sound, it sounds like there's more gunfights going off and a smoke canister. So uh, that's at least one off the board. Uh, yeah, this is nuts. Oh, we're down to 30 seconds oh, and oh, oh. 20 seconds. Uh, good opening pick by the Ayana, making that say. Oh, and the uh, the mute's been killed as well. Um, 3v2 situation here for the attacker's garage wall it is open. Uh, bring that down to a 2v2. Nomad gets taken down on the way in. Um, smoke canisters going out. Nothing seems to be connecting. 1v2, plant going down and will not be taken down successfully as Mr. Tickle Chicken wraps things up nicely. Yeah, that's a, that was an interesting round to watch, especially since... Uh, they were yeah. the uh, the attackers were ahead by quite a few numbers, and they just kept getting mowed down uh, from the inside, as well as you know technical problems. <laughs> but I am going to go right out and say, it, definitely on the more hated side of that that strategy. I'm really I'm really not close. sure what the long term vision was with it. Um, hey, it was close. They stalled out and they won the round. So apparently it worked uh, to some point, even though uh, it was it was a close round. So parenthetical mm -hmm. were. We're looking like they were in control, but uh, yeah, I guess the loot has the answer, and gun skill wins after all. So, more important than anything involving this this one particular map, that was a crucial round win for uh, Salute there. Um, at least the team we believe is still called Salute Gaming. Um, coming in there and winning that first round after uh, dropping that last map so decisively is, is just really big for the morale. Even if you lose the next two or three, at least you have this one to build off and not that 7-1 loss being compounded by an 0-3 hole, hole to start things out. Yeah, we'll have to see how this plays out because as we see we're going to lobby for the second site but there are a lot of reinforcements going on upstairs so obviously this is going to be a very crucial upstairs hold uh, being that's you know lobby is pretty destructible from above so losing above is going to be 
uh, pretty hard to do as they have quite a few, I believe it was three people upstairs last time I saw. Hmm. And so we're, we're seeing a whole bunch of holes getting opened up here. Interested to see how they want to try to hold this. Um, since our screen's frozen up again, it's, it's really gonna be hard to tell ya. Yeah, we are just going off by sound again. <laughs> so it's gonna be interesting to see how our casting skills do up against our hearing. This is this is a this is a hearing round, Trig. We gotta do the best. Oh. Oh, they've Rolling. gotten in. Yeah, they've gotten into, uh... They've gotten into Target office. A grenade or two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Foles with a good opening pick. Taking down the Tickle Chicken. Tickle Chicken was a big impact player last round, so... So, taking him off the board here early is definitely to the advantage of the attackers yeah, here. Yeah, and that's Doc off as well, so... A little bit of health everywhere is gonna be, uh... Gonna be pretty crucial, I think. That's a, that's a good pick to start with. Um, and we are frozen up again, so mm. yeah. Uh, not even hearing anything anymore. No, unfortunate. No, yeah. Attack is uh, the Oh, the Zofia and the Yana have both been killed, actually. We have uh, a minute 18 seconds, 3v3, make that a 3v2. A simple will get a kill, but get down. Um, effectively a 2v2, then. Uh, with a minute left, I'd say this plays slightly into the attacker's favor. They got a good bit of time left to try to make something happen here. Along with two great weapons in the hands of J-Man and Neo Lazarus. Uh, obviously, R4C. Beloved weapon for all of Ashman's. And the ARX, which hits like a truck, so. Let's see, can the attackers pull this out uh, with 45 left to go? Yeah, they take uh, simple. That's one thing. So the down person is gone. They. It's interesting to see what positions they're playing. They've they've spent about 30 of their seconds, and they haven't really played much around with it. You're hoping to see them really start to leverage one half of the map over the other. They're clearing out of Malusi. Uh, the two are pretty spread out. They just bully them together. They should be able to at least push into a 1v1. Um, the, one of them is going downstairs, and the other one has his back turned. Um, Ash is able to get the delayed refrag, bring it into a 1v1, but the smoke grenades are really going to do a number, but she pushes right on through. Does the smoke away? No. Only four seconds left. He's on the hunt. Comes around the corner and cannot catch him in time. He runs, runs away, and the clock will expire, ending the round. Uh, and Salute Gaming, um, by the skin of their teeth, pulls out a second round in a row. That uh, seemed like it was two rounds in a row that it was kind of getting a little sketchy there for uh, on the side of uh, uh, salute. That is so. Yeah, we're, we'll have to see what kind of uh, what kind of adjustments we're going to see on the side of parenthetical. Like we said, they uh, this is their map pick going down 2-0. It's been two close rounds on their attacking side, so uh, I expect them to. Maybe even win this next one. It's going to be interesting. It's pro I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is the split site, correct? Uh, yeah. I oh, believe so. Well, we'll see here in a second. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, that's split. So, uh, it looks like Salute Gaming is allergic to the altitude, staying, staying as low as they can go. But I, I really don't have a great it, It's working. So, yeah. um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, for sure, and uh, as you said before, lots of C4s. We've got, uh, we got Mute, we got the Mira, and this time we have the Pulse. We haven't seen a lot of Pulse throughout the series uh, so far. So first Pulse pick coming out could be uh, quite effective, especially on this bomb site. Yeah, four C4s is exactly what you need here. The Ying is interesting because um, I don't anticipate them actually having any vertical resistance or uh, horizontal resistance to this push. Um, if this goes the way I expect it does, maybe only one person will be playing on that mid or top floor. Um, so interesting to see how effective that Ying is. Um, I think one actually really underused thing about Ying is I think she might be the best post plant operator in the game if you save her candelas. If they get that plant down and you just throw a couple of candelas into the room, you can effectively just 
deny any ability to defuse by blinding them all. Um, it's a really underutilized part of her kit. Usually you use them to try to pick a few frags, but in a situation like this, they may be able to just hold on to those till the end of the round and lock it down from there. Yeah, we're gonna have to see how she's gonna be utilized effectively as we also have quite a few fragging operators, right? We had the Ash, we had the Ana. We also had uh, IQ coming out as well, once again. Uh, this is gonna be very helpful for that pulse. Once again, it is going frozen. So unfortunately, we are having more troubles and we're gonna have to go on sound again so we can hear her. Pell, <laughs> they might be going out to office side. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, I don't... For, uh, or your ears peeled, I guess it would be for uh, large explosions. That would be the sound of a guy with a diffuser getting blown to smithereens. Very true. But, uh, it did sound like somebody died. Don't know what side. <laughs> um, quite unfortunate. The, uh, what we're having... Attackers have located a bomb. Detected a bomb! Deploying Selma! Sensor activated. All EDs fitting! Get it! 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 Get Oh, good call. Good call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And... Alright, so we got a 5v4 situation for the defenders. Everyone seems to be blind. The defuse is on the... It's... Oh! It was a second away from getting planted and everybody dies. A uh, plush cap with a triple kill. Uh, and leaves McFoles with a 1v... Now make it 4 situation. Uh, it's definitely a suboptimal outcome in the world of parenthetical. They were inches away from getting that in moments. You can't measure time in inches. Moments away from getting that kill planted. This Yana is moments away from getting that kill and she does get the kill. Spraying a little bit through the floor and will get taken out from the lobby as the castle taken off. I believe that's a... Uh, taking the Yana out of the board. That's an old 4k there from the, from the castle. Way to be. Way to be plush cap. From the plush cap. Plush cap with the 4k. But hey, uh, it is what it is. We uh, we didn't get to see much of that round except for the explosion at the end. That's usually how this yeah, side we, goes. We got the big most stuff. Of the time. Yeah, we got the big stuff. You guys, uh, you guys saw the in between stuff. So we don't need to explain that. We, we just uh, we're just here for entertainment. And uh, you know, when, when things go sideways, uh, we turn them back on top. You know. And, uh, I'm 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 speaking out of my butt right, right now, so. We've seen a slight change with the Ana turning into a sledge. Weird um, how that works. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, that's probably good as they're going to go back downstairs, right? The sledge is probably going to be the key factor. Um, so here's a little stat that we saw. Well, I should say stat, but a little thing I, I saw I last the week. Um, the sledge does the same pattern going around sledging holes. Uh, I believe plush cap was, I believe it was the same, uh, I believe it was plush cap and, and McFoles again, um, but McFoles goes around and does the same kind of sledge holes, and I believe plush cap almost got him every time, it, it was just C4, shots up, it was just, he could not catch a break and the sledge was not having very much fun. Uh, so we're gonna have to see if the poles can not be picked off while trying to sledge everything in sight. Not being picked off while sledging everything in sight is yeah, this is the goal of a sledge, so Yeah, for sure. We'll just have to see, you know, the effect and the effectiveness of Flush Gap is probably gonna be playing uh pretty close to that. Looks like the smoke actually at this point. We're gonna be playing pretty close. Uh, yeah, about the same strat, right? We got the uh, the mute and the smoke both uh, supporting each other from that one hatch going into the garage. Have to see how that plays out once again. Hmm. Off to a little bit of a slower start here. The attackers are taking uh, taking their time taking control of the top floor. 
Um, it's going to be interesting when they transition down to this mid-floor attack, how quickly they can get rid of the the players there so they can make their attack through the main wall. I think time was the, the killer last time they were trying to push into smoke yeah, grenades and push them into smoke it. never never quite pans out like you want it to. Yeah, for so, sure. If the attackers can be a little more expedient in uh, clearing out this middle floor, they should be better set up for their execute. Yeah, we're going to have to see how they seed as uh there's still a lot of time left on board 5v5 uh and right as i say that so let's uh see who gets killed here it was the k taking out their only hard breach oh, nice plush gaps red hot right now oh that's five kills consecutive for him uh really really making some plays and turning this round in his team's favor or this, this, this map in his team's favor that's something they desperately need after that first map yeah, for sure. It looks like a heavy... Device ready. Attackers have located a bomb. Back up, I believe. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he's good to go. Entirely too slow for this this slew gaming attack. Um, now with 45 seconds left, they're they're gonna need to try to get through. Well, they can't actually get through the wall. They're gonna need to try to get downstairs. This ledge is gonna open up all these holes, but what can he actually do with them? Really, not much. Lots of shots oh, range from the Cade, but uh, not gonna do anything in the end. We will see another pick, a couple picks on the other side. Trades coming out from the Ash and the Cade, and everybody else in between. It's all in J Man. He's in a 1v4 situation. He's got about 30 health or so. I'd say give him 40. Plush cap with a uh, three kills this round to complement. Oh, make it four. That's back to back. Four Ks on a plush cap. The man's, uh, the man's going ham. And, uh, I, I get, man, what a, what a turn of the tides. We've got ourselves a 4-0 scoreline for a salute game in this time around. Yeah, and it's Parenthetical's map, so don't forget that, everybody. We saw Parenthetical win the first map, uh, which was Salute Gaming's. And then we saw uh, Parenthetical's map, and it's a, it's a 4-0 defensive side right now. This could be interesting, Trey. Look, looky what we see here. We don't see him very often. But when he when he uh, when he shows up, he makes an explosive entrance. That's for sure. Oh, I got all the I got all the fuse. Um, oh, and there he goes. It is unfortunate. I've I've always had a soft spot in my heart for fuse. Um, Attackers I mean that AK-12. Long before Ace had it, I I was campaigning as one of the best guns in the game, and it's just so good. Stuck on a being stuck so on an operator like fuse, where you really don't get to see it played. Unfortunately, it always kind of broke my heart. But uh. Yeah, no. It is quite unfortunate. But uh, instead, Neo's going to decide to go with the Nomad instead. So, uh, hey, keep those flanks under watch. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, it'll work out for him. Other than that, back to lobby we go for Salute. They are going to do pretty much the same thing. They're going to go reinforce a lot of stuff upstairs. And uh, probably keep quite a lot of uh, bodies up there as well. Yeah, um, interesting looking setup, for sure. They're curious to see what those, what the niche beside, behind some of these wall holes are. They, obviously they look random, but they, they aren't. There's, a, there's an intention for all of them. Um, as to what that intention is, that's, that's really to be determined. Exactly, we'll have to see. As Golem puts up his shield in the bathroom, Smoke gonna be playing that quite diligently. But, uh, yeah, Mute's still putting his stuff up around uh, upstairs, and uh, we'll, we'll start the round here. Yeah, it looks like Tiger's just lining up for... Is this a rush? It'd be, it's, it's very... Yeah, we, have ourselves a, uh, we have ourselves a rush. And uh, Titan runs in, guns down the smoke, but he gets the trade over from... Uh, um, actually make oh that make that three kills for the defender. So that is a we could chalk that rush up to a hard L. 
Yeah, and it's only down to McFoles and J-Man. The Sledge and the Ash only ones left. They do get one pick, so that's McFoles with the pick. Back down to a 2v2. And Weighted Blanket very low. Somebody else dies. Not sure who it was. It was Weighted Blanket. So it's down to Tickle Chicken. Tickle Chicken is upstairs watching the hatch and the fuser. Don't know if they're going to be able to sell oh, that drone at the perfect time. He's just going to run away straight through the floor. Not do a lot of damage. Sludge does take the fuser and he'll have to drop hatch. He goes right in the piano, looking right, left, right, left, and just firing everywhere, getting shot everywhere. Finally gets one. It's a 1v1 on the side of J Man. Tickle Chicken so low, though. Hearing shots rain out. His Tickle Chicken's got the better angle and he gets the kill. Wow, that was such an unfortunate ending to that failed rush. It looked like they were going to bring it back and. Tickle Chicken said, nah, man, I'm just going to let you vault through a hole and for some reason take that fight. I'm not quite sure what the, uh, not quite sure what the, what the thought process was there. Yeah. Interesting seeing that a couple of interesting decisions, seeing that the, the way I saw that playing out was the Ash takes the defuse, sits behind circle desk and is, is ready to go. And the doc uses his stim pistols to get back up to full or will be on full health, even if he wanted to. Um, and we see that, that play out, but, uh, they, they, uh, they end up just pushing and meeting and that vault was, was ill fated to say the least. And, uh, another round, another round one for a uh, salute. And, uh, and what do you know? It's, it's five Oh, we, uh, this is, uh, this is need to locate and defuse really the weird though the now. Hand. I, yeah, I don't know what's going on with these two teams, but it, if if it goes like a 7-1 here, I'm going to start, you know, getting the conspiracies ready, because this has been so weird. Uh, I've said it multiple times, I'll say it one more time just for everybody. It was 7-4 on every single map last time. If it goes, I swear to God, if it goes 7-1 on every map here, it's going to be weird. It's going to be like seeing aliens, that's for sure. It's going to be weird. Uh, hopefully we can see parenthetical get back into it uh, they still have one more attack so doing oh, this a lot one of action, a lot of action in the chat unfortunately we can't can't read it I can't quite see it but uh, you know it's we'll probably know when it pops up on I don't know. know we'll know when you do when it pops up on the stream I'm very excited to see what we got here <laughs> of course yeah, there's that big uh, Rainbow Six Esports controversy of us not being ranked in the top tier of uh, or in fact any tier of uh, Esports trash talk, which is um, probably good and bad um, at the same time. But let's maybe these two have something to say about it. We'll have to see. Ooh, we got Plush Cat roaming all the way upstairs, and uh, he's all the way over at CEO office. We have three, four people downstairs. So Plush Cap is the only one on the roam right now. It's looking mm. pretty heavily to be uh, that same kind of pulse hold that they had last time. And, uh, yeah, Parenthetical really didn't do much that round. They? they ran into sight and pretty much died. No, it was, it was, it was pretty simple right there. It was, uh, step one, run into sight, step two, end round. <laughs> yeah, and we only got to see the last half of that, so it, uh, <laughs> it seemed even more of a, uh, explosion on the site. So, uh, you yeah, know, we'll have to see which difference we can have is, uh, Neil Lashith back on the IQ. Probably using that mostly for the pulse, any C4s, and man, there's a little bit of damage coming on a known Titan. Yeah. He's pretty much just uh, looking around into a uh, lobby at the moment. Way to blanket going down. Where was that at? Um, downstairs somewhere. That, that's the mute. So somewhere downstairs. Red blanket's gonna go bye bye, and uh, yeah, that's 4v5 on the side of the uh, defense. Perhaps even more importantly, a C4. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, a lot of C4s off the board. We see, we hear Ace charges going off. A lot of C4s, just explosions to the max, and a lot of bars getting hit. This just bar central is known Titan on one health. And Jamie getting picks all over the map. Known Titan does get down at one point, and there's just too much for me to see right now. And uh, all sorts of chaos going on. Seems like the attackers are certainly in the advantage here with a 4v1. It'll be uh, all down to Simple. He's got one down, and he's trying to get the finish with the Maestro turret. Can't quite make it happen. Um, this situation not looking great from an objective perspective. Fuser does go down. 
I hear the all the rattling all the way over. He does get a kill. One v four situation. I'm just gonna keep spraying all around, and uh, he will get finished in the end. So the one v four was not enough, and uh, yeah, Jamin will get that last kill on Ash. And hey, this is looking uh, the complete opposite <laughs> of what yeah, we had we last a, uh, game. We got a five one half time this time in a salute's favor. Um, oh, like both times defense defensive uh, time second. What it, it's an interesting change of pace from our our usual stomping grounds on the Xbox casting side of things, where every map goes while the attacker side. Attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely so weird decided. seeing the defenders running rounds and Rainbow Six Siege. What? what? Yeah, who would have thought? Never, never would have thought of that. And here's something and, you don't uh, see every day. Cali. Da da da. Cali. Mm. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Okay. Well, we spoke too yeah. soon. We spoke too soon. No. I mean, Kylie certainly, certainly played often. Certainly in, viable. Like, yeah. Cust bronze cust. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, Flat him, you know. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, YouTube montage. Sorry, Sorry Light Sam. I mean it that way. One. Yeah. Want to be YouTube yeah. montagers? That's, you know. I'm part of FaZe Clan, 360YY ladder stall. Yeah, you know, the Cali, Cali... Cali's certainly an operator, that's, that's rare. We've been locked there for a few now, but I assume the round is underway. Um, something interesting could be happening, uh, but really, who are we to say? Yeah, all we know is that uh, it's first round for parenthetical on defense, so uh, what can you do, parenthetical? It looks like uh, they start on lobby, which is something uh, useful. <laughs> they will be holding upstairs, and it looks like a, a room clear through office and lobby side, but man, already we're going to see a pick from Salute. As uh, J-Man, the Jaeger main, going down uh, to, I believe, that was a push cap on the on the Nomad. Yeah, good, good, good opening pick there. Uh, brings another uh, advantage, and it's like the reverse that situation before. Now, uh, Salute has the momentum. They want to finish this map as soon as possible and just keep that on rolling into on Villa map number three. So, if they can, uh, they can keep the pressure on. But, uh, close this game out as soon as possible. They're gonna be all the better for it Device You're gonna have to see as we are frozen for a sec can just what happens we hear a couple flashbangs going out uh, Nade, oh, out. nade. A nade. I heard a nade rolling. That's a uh, That's something But other than that Complete another darkness. Oh, somebody got killed. Oh, Couple players got killed, and wow, okay, all of a sudden we're down to a 2v4 inside of the bomb. defense. It's just Gummy and no Titan. Mira, Belusi, see what you got. Hmm. Okay. Mm, that sounds like a good amount of bullets coming out of like, Nomad's gun. Yeah, I believe so. Who fired back from uh, Malusi? Put a few shots out there. Untied does get a pick. Malusi got a kill. Yeah, nice. Didn't lose much health either. Okay, there's oh, there's another pig. Okay. No, that's right, as well. All right. Oh. All right. Well, that. All right. There goes Malusi. Only matters of time. So, 20 full seconds health. left on the clock. Go. We'll have coming. Attackers bomb diffuser has been dropped. Gummy, uh... Seconds remaining. Huh. Attackers Fascinating. Comes in from... Gets the down on the guy with the diffuser, and, uh... Oh, Five this is her round to lose all of a sudden. Sophia putting down the bomb. She's gonna have... Maybe a second once the clock expires to stand uh -oh. up. She may actually get this. Mira's coming in. 
Was it too late? And it was! I was waiting for oh to get the kill with the round. Oh, Please don't be goodness. opposite. Gracious, oh. great balls of fire. What a clutch right there. If this goes 7-1, I'm going to lose my mind. I will... I'm going to have to... Yeah, it's just... Oh, God. Please, just break the curse. Mm -hmm. Break the curse, parenthetical. Just get one round. That's all I'm asking. You can lose the rest of the game. I don't. I don't care, right? Just get one round. That's all I'm asking. And hopefully that mozzie that 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 secures you the round, man. Just get one round. I don't want to see seven one. We can't have this curse go on for any longer. Parenthetical salute gaming. You guys are cursed. I don't know what's going on with you guys, but yeah, damn. Something's going on. It's not Halloween. It's uh. Not even Easter. To locate and defuse bombs. Is Easter a holiday known for excessive cursing? No, 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 no. It's just uh, we're not even close to Halloween. Is what I'm saying. We're not even past Easter. Gotcha, is what I'm gotcha. saying. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I thought you meant like Easter. Ah, the curse of the bunny. Attackers of local. Dragon tree bear sharing one brain cell. Hmm. Well, I, I thought that was pretty smart by me. It's just your poor phrasing. All right, we'll uh. What's going to say? That, 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 that sells all <laughs> mine. <laughs> don't, don't you be trying to mooch off my, my brain cell. Um, There's one brain cell. Anyways, uh, news just came in that uh, Mark the Shark's joining Disrupt Gaming. Okay. I've always been a big fan of Mark the Shark. Um, not necessarily as a player, he's a, he's, he's a fine player, but that's a that's an A tier name right there if I've ever heard one. A veteran, you know? It's a veteran. Yes. Veteran on he's a team, you know, so. No, he, he fills a hole. Take that how you want it. Stop yet. Take that how you want it. I won't say anything more than that. We see a lot of shots. Well, okay. There's whoa, whoa. What is going on? Cap has been down. <laughs> and tickle chicken. What just happened? Tickle chicken. Ah. Ah. Speaking of A tier okay. names, we get some credit over to tickle chicken. Tickle chicken, man. What a name. No, oh, A tier as well. Get him and Mark the Shark on the team together to see what happens. Yeah, man. Swapping Max. Hey, well, that's a lot of health on the board, right? Much cap. That's. No chicken. You you don't have no more health, and I, and I have no more screen. Yeah. No. Uh, things seem to be a little jammed up here this round, at least from our perspective. Neil Lazarus is still in the closet. Yeah. We'll see if he, he wanders out of there at any point. Uh, we got a double bathroom stack here as well, which is... Trey, you gotta stop with the innuendos, bro. <laughs> okay, somebody uh, died. Who was it? Uh, ooh, Monty got chicken. on the chicken. chicken. No! Wow, we have three people in the bathroom. That's, uh... And we... <laughs> okay. Crowded house. Crowded bathroom, apparently. Uh, yeah. Mm, occupied. I think they're all. I think they have three stalls. I think they're safe. All right, all right, fair enough. Yeah, you're right. You're right. There's three no. stalls. As you three can see, we've clearly run out of content. As a yeah, yeah. The, all we can tell you is that there are defenders on the bomb site. Washed. Um. What is going on? I yeah. So, so, we're playing Rainbow Six right. Siege here. Yeah. There are two yeah, teams. And, and we cannot see anything. There are ten players per, per ten players in the match, five per team. It seems one of them on Salute Gaming has been killed. Who? Oh, two big two. Wow. Okay. Uh, there's a double. lot of stuff going in. Um, uh, dude. All right. We need to stop the windows. Some fool gets a kill. If a plush cap goes down, it's a four v two in favor of the defenders. Uh, one of those attackers being on a minuscule HP. Um, and one of those defenders now being dead. Simple, making some plays here. Attackers um, have located a bomb. A 2v3, this is to ice out the game. Uh, seeing curse that be broken. Is... The See, can the curse be broken? It was 6-1. What will it be when we get screen back? We don't know. We heard smoke grenades. What's it going on? It's like a defense win. 15 seconds left. 3v2 for the defense with three smoke canisters on the board. I don't see the attack winning this. No, but, they have an ash on the board, oh, that's all you need, only, right? Only time will tell. Going, um, going. 
So the garage wall did get opened with like 15 seconds left. We can see that. That's all that we see. We can't see anymore. It looks like he's shooting in the general direction of the bomb site, or at least will be. Um, okay, okay. Oh, oh, sounds like the game's over. Is it? I didn't hear that sound. I don't know. Maybe it was just a round. I don't know. Oh, no, no. We got another round. There's a counter. There's we a have timer. Another round? No, we have still, another round. Okay. I'm still on the 15 seconds with the garage. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like we had a timer. So I'm assuming we're going to another round. The curse is broken. Parenthetical broke it. Thank God. Jeez. Did they? Can we verify this? Attackers need to locate I, and defuse bombs. That's my guess. Oh, 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 oh. APS deployed and ready to go. Okay, right, Chris is broken. Word, word comes in from the man upstairs. We did we did get a round win from Parenthetical, um, allegedly. Um, Chris is broken, nice. And uh, we, we'll be moving on to another one. <laughs> uh, that was great, okay. I think, uh, I don't know, I'm still looking at the garage. I, dude, I, I'm just hearing like, was that a cap can? No, that was a bulletproof, okay. What was that <laughs> say? I was like, no way they brought a cap can, right? Oh. That's bulletproof. That's got to be a bulletproof. There's no way they brought a thing with nails shooting out of it. Not anymore. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is that cage shotgun open at the walls? I don't know. I don't know. Sounds like it. Sounds like the old uh, TCS G12. See, you at home watching this are probably like, what in the hell are they talking about? I can see everything perfectly. We cannot see anything, so we're just going off of our senses and our instincts. Attackers so well, the was it? The... Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. Ah, it's okay. Sure. Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah. Feel free to chime in if you have you have <laughs> slightly better information than we do. Feel free to chime in with at least two wins of the rounds. We can have a third caster. It's fine, bro. Like, mm. perfect. In the, in the action. Uh, so oh, there's... bomb has been dropped. I heard that. There's still two minutes, 45 seconds left in the prep phase. <laughs> or two in the, in, the, in the round. Never mind. Oh. Recover the bomb diffuser. Drone goes out. Right, I'm assuming that was just a, a handoff rather than a kill. Oh no, the chicken, chicken was slain. No. Oh, there's another oh, one there. dead. It was a okay, run I can out. see stuff oh, again. Goodness. Rated blanket. Rated blanket. Oh. No. Oh, oh wow. Oh my goodness. This is you a tragedy. Do you hear that, Tree Bear? It's not just the background sounds that we get. That's the winds of change. That, that's uh, not good, man. Momentum swung fully in favor of Parenthetical. Okay, okay. Oh, but do we, ash we, charges? We, ash charges, yep. Explosion, <laughs> explosion. Action, action, fun, fun. Oh, no. Very cool, very smooth. Wow. Oh wow, okay, another one died on the defense. So 5v2, woohoo, okay. Wait, 5v2? 5v2, side of defense. Vigils oh, wow. on the team as well, I don't know, I just now saw that for some reason. Okay, simple, going, uh, trying to get to Visa stairs. He's got this nice hole to look through and going still on the roof with the diffuser. Loading your mic. So uh, it looks like they might be trying to waste time here. I'm not too sure. Still a lot of time on the board. Okay, 50 seconds at least. All right, we, we finally see uh, Golan get off of the roof. Try to get in somewhere into the building. Oh no, 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 he's still outside it. So uh, even though he's got 38 seconds, he's still outside, just waiting. Simple, still over by that piece of stairs. We'll have to see uh, what kind of, what, you think this is possible? Because I think they're just stalling. I think they just took a, a nice little TO and we're gonna reset till the next round. I mean, they're on match point. They can do that, right? So, no. Oh, 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 you see the shield. Yeah, smoke cancer is gonna get him out. There's nothing they can do here. They're just going for kills. Pad the stats at this point. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Operators, you are out of time. Yep, yep. Frozen again. Yeah, we are. We are in a deep freeze. Alright, Sister yeah. Hans, what happened? You, you tell us what happened. Okay. Parenthetical got the yeah. win. Alright, so that's 6-3 uh, that's up on the scoreboard, eh? Parenthetical won. They, oh, yeah, here uh, we go. Bringing it back. Okay. Wow. We got operators being selected. What do you say? 
Oof, holy smokes, man. We like, got a top floor and we got Tachanka. What do you want to talk about? Tachanka? Okay. Okay. Top actual floor top Tachanka? floor or actual Spawn Tachanka? Peaks? Oh, no Tachanka. In, oh, my heart rips in two. Okay, it went pulse. You thought, of, no, no, we're going to stick with the pulse. Ooh, All right, wow. Move. Wow, that's a good six pick. Holy smokes. That's actually like Attackers need five head big brain. As many bombs as they can. Uh, actually, she's running for huge charges now. <laughs> okay, all right, well, uh, hey. It's not like they had a, a Sledge on the board, an Ash on the board, a Zofia on the board. No, they got a lot it's of okay. breach charge. It's, they it's have okay. nine, well, they have 14 breaches plus a Sledge. He's also got the Aug, which is interesting. I, respect, I, on, respect. As someone Honestly, who prioritizes- respect. As someone who prioritizes 2.5 yeah, site over anything else on a gun, um, I actually enjoy Five the AUG. I think left. it's, I mean, it's a solid rifle. All three of her guns are top tier yeah, attacker yeah. rifles. So. Interesting. We'll have to see. Like we said, uh, the last one was a Nomad, so Flush Cat is on Nomad, so no hard breach at all. Interesting. Yeah, um, I mean, you don't particularly need one on this bomb site, which is nice. It's kind of like coastline in that way, yeah. um, where you can, obviously there are walls you can open up. You can go to the skylight and open up uh, the yellow stairs wall. It's kind of like uh, opening up the, like the uh, village wall from the roof of Hookah, or for the roof of coastline. Um, but it's not, it's not mandatory by any means. You can certainly get around it. Exactly, yeah. We're gonna have to see. So we have Neo Lazarus, the Jaeger. He's gonna be playing hard on yellow stairs. So this will be uh, this will be one of the crucial spots. Uh, as always, you know this is a very crucial spot. They got Malusis and Jaegers, helping them out. And uh, man, it looks like he's gonna try to get mated here. There's a flash going out. Another flash going out. Frags cool. everywhere. Flashes everywhere. He does get a pick, but gets immediately blinded. I don't think he nice gets shot. Though. No, wow. Takes out, takes out Tickle Chicken, which is not only the guy on the roof, but that was the guy with the nades. They're using those flashes to try to clear the ADSs so they could kill him. And he uh, takes another. Well, the... Oh, it's taken back. Oh, Bam through he... the wall. That's tough. He got my golem. But... Certainly an advantage for the defense here, seeing that they still have their guy on yellow stairs, and as long as he's there, they're in the advantage. All right, so this is something different that we did not really see. Okay, there's a lot of kills. Okay, back down to a 2v2, but we did not see CEO at all. So this could be the uh, this could be the uh, overall clutchest play that uh, Parenthetical are bringing out. We did not see it last week. This is the first time we've seen it uh, in the series between these two, at least oh, no. where I have. So uh, I all think right, so. Gnome Titan is hurt. Oh, okay, J-Man. Oh, J-Man. No, oh, J-Man. wow. Did get refreshed. That was a huge pick. I'll, I'll... So the play was, is they're going to have IQ on the windows and uh, come in and play and well, have coverage from yellow stairs. Um, oh, the smoke could have The smoke could have held that perfectly, right? Just keep chucking, uh, chucking grenades here and there, right? Cover them. Um, and the attackers couldn't have gone up the stairs. The guy would have to solo swing in. It wouldn't have gone anywhere. Um, but yeah, no, anyway, it's uh, when the smoke a... over peaked, they got taken out. And yeah. um, as a result, uh, Salute will take the round, uh, take the map, and uh, hey, on to map three. Map three, Villa. So uh, Curse was broken, like we heard, right? So it's no longer like a 7171. Seven one seven three. Uh, uh, so it's a little bit different. Going to Villa. This is this was an interesting map because it looked pretty head to head until the switch, and then I believe I don't even remember who won last time. Uh, but whoever won pretty much just took off after the split. So we'll have to see if it's uh, the same as last time, or if they are pretty much just gonna. Steamroll. I mean, this has been such a this has been such a weird series, where it's been kind of a steamroll, and then one or two rounds, or in this case three, and then uh, the match point just doesn't or just overpowers too much because they had what six match points, so it's just it's too much. It's just too much. Yeah. And uh, so getting ready for map number three. 
Uh, and away we go. All righty then. Starting it up right away. I like it. Players are ready to go. I'm ready to go. And I think Treg's ready to go too. You ready to go, Treg? I really don't have a choice, but yeah, sure. Yeah, I guess uh, he, he's forced to have to be ready to go. Anyway, bands coming through. We like the we like uh, Villa bands, so uh, I'm assuming just a hunch. Probably gonna be a Thatcher band again. Yeah, look for East. Yeah, that's that's pretty chalk. Um, gonna be a Thatcher there. Um, be surprised if we don't see a Mira. Um, I'd be very surprised. Maybe a, yeah. maybe a Maestro to go with it. Maybe a Wamai. Um, maybe a Malusi even. We've seen a lot of Malusi uh, both teams. That's true. Uh, if, in this case, I'd probably think it's probably Wamai Ben. Just uh, just seeing how they play. A lot of Maestro like, either though. We keep the... That's true. They have been playing a lot of Maestro. Um, but like we said, um, the Thatcher Ben. Tried and true. It'd be, it'd be this one right here though because uh, it's been. Par or parentheticals. Or parentheticals. Ugh. What a name. I should like I said before. What a name. Parentheses. Clash Ban. Clash. Ooh, that's a target ban. All would right. that not be a great team name? Just open close parentheses. I'm going to pretend like I didn't hear that, but all right. Uh, last one. Like hey. I said, one my ban. So uh, Good I'm call big brain. The Good call on the one my. I don't see the clash band though. That's uh interesting because now they have Mira on the board. Mira, let's just say, is very, 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 very strong on on Villa if you can use her right. Um. So yeah, what are we gonna see coming through from the defense to start this off? Um, starting dining kitchen. That's usually wow, bomb okay. site on the list. But I like it. I I always really enjoyed that bomb site. You can do some really cool things with the setup there to to make things happen. Bold to say the least. We'll have to see what the Goyo switch to a pulse. Okay, we've been seeing a lot of pulse come through on these last two maps. I like it. Bring pulse back. He's a fun operator. But uh, yeah, I'm sure he's pretty annoying on the other side. Either way. Uh, the IQ will be taken, nonetheless, so, uh, slight counter to the pulse, but, uh, other than that, yeah, uh, Valkyrie, once again, being taken, so, yeah. On the other side, one hard breach, Golan is gonna be the lone hard breach on the side of, uh, Salute, and, yeah, parenthetical going with, uh, the dining, I, I, that's bold, I gotta say. Starting not strong, we'll have to see how this works. Mm, for sure. I really like that Valkyrie pick here too. There are a lot of really good Valk cams uh, that you can put in these hallways to, to keep things under lock and key, which is... I think there's so those many. Are be big. Yeah, there's so many C4s too. Like, it, it's just gonna be so easy. I mean, look, they have four. They have four C4s? Not nearly enough. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. They Never mind. Malusi we'll already used one. What? Someone's got to make rotates. Okay. I mean, uh, it's not like you have a shotgun on mute or anything, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> what do you see for is that's enough, right? <laughs> so Works for me. It works for me. Uh, it's, you do you. So it's... it's. I'm sure there's a... Um, there's a valid reason. There's got to be. Oh, yeah. Big foals. C4-less. We'll be playing around this trophy area. Simple. Trying to bang this wall. You cannot hit it for some reason. <laughs> Having some difficulties. Trying to hit that barricade. Finally gets it open. All right, we'll see how he pushes into this one now. He's very close to seeing it. Wow, okay. That's one C4 off the board. And Simple is well off the board. So, C4's already playing a pa uh, factor. Yeah, good pick right there. Um, that's a two C4s down, uh, one attacker down. That's an okay ratio. Um, you can do a little bit better, but it's a good start. Yeah, we'll have to see what goes on. Oh, hey, you gotta you gotta take your word, Dreg. Your boy no, was. I was gonna wait for a break in the action. I was gonna do it in the middle of a round. Nah, we Whirly. do it right in the middle of the action as people are dying, right. bro. That's how. It... Shout out, shout out to Whirly for being a, <laughs> a pretty cool cat and a, not the worst siege player I know. He's the goat. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. 
from my stream to me. I love it. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, here we are. A lot of utilities being cleared. It seems the attackers have taken the top floor. Um, Sophia is... Oh, boy. The tickle chicken. Just... Just put a finger on him and he's gonna drop. Just tickle him a little bit? Yeah. Mm. Could've, could've went chicken. with a tickle pun, but... Nonetheless, you didn't. Alright, back to the action here. I mean, I, did, I said put a finger on him. No, I thought that was... Ah, I didn't want to go too heavy-handed. No, yeah, you're close enough. Put the chicken. Finger jokes. There you go. I guess. <laughs> Boomers. <Finger>. Alright. <laughs> hand in hand. <laughs> oh, tree bear, you... Our innuendos, our, our innuendos are out of, the off the roof today. Off the roof? Sorry. Through the roof. Or Through off the, the charts. Yes, that's the one. Through <laughs> the roof. <laughs> off the roof. Oh, man, okay. Yeah. Uh, speaking of things going off today. the roof, uh, this, is a, this attacker strategy has certainly uh, gone off the roof. Nine seconds left Five for Sledge to try to bust his way on into sight, take out two defenders while he's at it. Um, they're both in a place where he can get to him. He takes down the Valk. Can he transfer to the Jaeger? Ooh. No, he cannot. The J-Man takes him down. And that's round number one for the parentheses. Hate you so much. They're, you know, if they hear you call them the parentheses, I, I just don't know how they're going to feel about that. Mm. You know, they probably don't care. It's, it's a last minute name anyway. They, uh, they won the first round, though. So, parenthetical. Oh, there's so many better names. They could have gone with, uh... So, going off my idea of just a couple parentheses, what if they just go with, like, a couple of brackets? Or even better, uh, the braces? Bracket That's plays. a name right there. Yeah. Just, just March braces. Madness is coming up. They could have said something about that. Yeah. You know, it's just, yeah. Yeah, go, uh... I don't follow college basketball. I really don't care who wins. Someone's going to win. If you now. follow college basketball, put in chat right now, who's going to win March Madness? Let's hear it. Who's going to be the top dog going through for 64 teams? All right, that's all I'm going to say. Put it in the chat. Let's see. I'm putting my money in. Nice. 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 New Jersey I'm go UNC. That's my first pick. They're going to be a lot. Even though... Uh, uh, oh, N G I T. Yeah. Not so great division, but hey, you, you gotta love us. Cinderella yeah, story. That's what my first they, they're, not, they're not gonna make the tournament though. Five seconds left. <laughs> no, no, that might be. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you gotta love this. Sure. One to four. Half of esports draft. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Some more shotgun shots. Some reinforcements going through. All right, we're back yeah, in action. We didn't even really see enough of the last round to give good commentary on what went wrong and, and what didn't. Um, the attackers didn't kill everybody. That's it. That's, yeah, or the, that's or, what happened, you know? or get the diffuser down. And without either diffuser, one of those two yeah. things, you really just can't win the round. You just really can't. You just really, really can't. Technology, yeah. am I right? Yeah. We will be seeing uh, a master closet push at the moment. Got a couple, yes. uh, a couple shotgun holes going. We do have people underneath. Yeah, known Titan's gonna be a big, big part of this here. Uh, and and J Man, the two of them uh, holding down the two main entrances here attack to the bomb sites, or I guess the two main avenues of attack, I should say. Um, if they can hold their ground, they're gonna be in a, a really good position to win this round. If one or both of them falls without taking a couple with them, uh, things are gonna go downhill real quick. Bomb located yep. by attackers. Going live. Sure, we will have to see. As no damage, I believe, has been taken by either team, so it's just a lot of utility being spent. No Titan holding a really tight angle, uh, but there will be a kill going down. It's Known Titan. He maybe got a little bit too frisky, and Tickle Chicken is going to put him out of his misery. Now, they do have bathroom control, but uh, and it sounds like the wall is also open. So, more Habana pellets going down at the moment, and we have J-Man just holding out for his life in Astro. We'll have to see as simple. Trying to go for a little bit of a roam clear. 
And another person mm. dying. Don't know on which side. Not sure. Oh, one day, one day. Always... <sighs> okay, all right. Maybe two, two oh, actually. All right. Wow, oh. a lot of kills. So that's, that's, uh, that's one more of each. That's right. a lot of kills. Um, you know, I'll put my money on the two. Oh, J Man, last one. J Man's got it. J Man's, J -Man's right. goaded. J Man 1v3? Question mark? 2v1, oh, J Man. Aw, oh, J Man. <laughs> Come on, bud. We had faith in you. <laughs> J Man. The 1v3 couldn't pull it off. You know, he just didn't have the chops. Just, you just have to have the chops sometimes. And, uh, you know, at this point in time, God, man. Well, uh, it's an old G Man 22 here, you really needed to be more of like a J Man 26, mm. 27 to make that one work. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> Come on, man. I, I know nobody's going to answer. That's why I said it. You, you can't rub it in like that, bro. God damn. All right. Well, either way, uh, yeah, we're having a. We don't even know what site we're going to next, Treg. We don't know. So, no, uh, uh, to my knowledge, there's still a minute left in that last round. <laughs> On our screen, it's blank, and with a minute left of the last round. Okay. Bomb, okay. They can. Okay. Eighty. All right. Either. All right. Ooh, that's 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 actually probably pretty predictable. That's, yeah. 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 I mean, they could have went back to trophy, but. Uh, they want to? Nah, it just seemed like they just got steamrolled, so. Nah. I mean, that was a 2v1. That's not steamrolled. Oh, was it? I that's thought it was like a 3v1. Well, either, either, either way. Either way. J Man. The oh, J Man right. 22 got, got one pick. Yeah. He, he, was a, he was a third of the way there. Uh, by the way, more more breaking news on the Tree Bear and Treadcast. Uh, tier 1. Uh, T1 signs a. Uh, uh, the org, not the tier one. Um, signs an APAC team, so that's cool. T1 okay. back here in Rainbow Six. So like they switch, switch regions. All right. Interesting. Uh, interesting. So, I think that's different. Is that the different one from the one that was in LATAM? I don't know. Well, it's not in LATAM, so it'd be a different region, right? I think it's a different org. You just said T1. Yeah, I know. Did they have a North? Yeah. It's not, that, T1 was in my team. It's not. It's it, no. It's something else. It's not Attackers Team One. It's T1. Oh, like what? So okay, interesting. Uh, right? T1. Yeah, Attackers it's there's the something different. They're based out of Korea. Okay, so it's a. It's not T1. Okay, all right, gummies down. Cade off the Gummy. board. Oh. See, uh, I, don't, I don't remember who it was, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be Cade off the board. That's the electricity off. If you didn't put those down already, that's gonna be uh, quite uh, unfortunate for the uh, for the parentheses. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, wow, that was really close. Okay, he was spraying through the floor there. He didn't see it. It was. Damn close. Didn't get any damage, but uh, almost headshot, so. Maybe. Parentheses. Everyone's favorite 60s pop rock band. It could be. They could be definitely a, a five man boy band. J Man in the parentheses? That's, that's a band right there. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we'll have to see if J Man can pull off a 5K here. A, a nice little acer. Because uh, it's a 4v5 on the side of. Uh, Parentheses, parentheticals, the parentheticals, whatever, whatever you want to say, you know. It's, <laughs> I've had many names today. Uh, of course, the the parentheticals. Disheartened to see they weren't the team that T1 decided to sign. Unfortunate, yes. But uh, uh, they got a kill. Yeah, yeah, tickle chicken. What the heck? Man, there's a few. Yeah. Yeah, he's a. Uh, then he goes. We're we're in a four v four. Make that a four v three. As a. Have recovered their diffuser. As a uh, simple. He got a kill. Oh. Yeah, that ace. Yeah. That uh, Ash is coming oh. through. J Man taking down some heat. Down goes McCall's. Down goes. Oh, J Man actually Attackers gets the pick. Uh, taking uh, plush cap down. So, two v three once again. We'll we'll see a. Uh, 
the parentheses in a clutch situation with C4, can't quite get out, he gets taken out before he, yeah, he went out a little bit too far to try to make that happen, and Claymore sends J-Man uh, off into the abyss. That was perfect spectating too, we even saw the Claymore going down, and she just gets mm. blown up by it, can't even see, can't even see it when you're aiming down sight like that, unfortunate for J-Man, really nice placement on the side of whoever that was. I don't remember, but uh, yeah, got the kill. Game winner, the round winning kill. So uh, yeah, that's two, something we haven't really talked about. That's two attacking rounds on Villa. Definitely Close our route. closest game. Yeah, it's been a lot closer than uh, any of the other ones. So uh, we say that yeah. then. What? Well, uh... Salute goes yeah, on the next could, five yeah, rounds salute. and ice it up. <laughs> salute, just like make it, make it even. You know, this is this is the decider map. You guys can attackers need to locate it's whatever, man. It's it's, it's okay. Fine, we can we can keep it close. Maybe uh, get your heart rates up a little bit. Who knows, man? Who knows? I got the wall. Either way, we're gonna go back to down to kitchen dining. They seem to like that site on the uh, the first round. They won it, obviously. So uh, that was the one site that they won. Uh, going back with the pulse play, as well as a vigil. All right, so known Titan going on that vigil. I'm assuming he's going to be roaming by uh, just because of the site. But uh, you never know. We'll have to see. Attackers are moving out to locate a bomb and defeat. Hey, Where's this um, video gonna go play? Oh, well, he's already over at main stairs. So Um Yeah, I mean this seems like a fine spot. Yeah. Let's see who, where they push from. Because uh, that's I mean, really gonna determine where he's gonna be positioned, so it looks like they're just going a uh, west to east take here, which seems to be pretty common on uh, on these type of offensives. Yeah. But, uh, I got you. From that hallway with the vigil, there's a lot of possibilities. There's a lot of good cover in these hallways for him to play. Um, he could really be anywhere. Yeah, at this point, they probably know that there is a vigil somewhere on the board. Probably being a little bit more cautious than the usual. And look at this, Moon Titan going all the way through living room. Don't even know if uh, he's going to go anywhere. He's going to just go right up red stairs. We'll have to see. This is going to be... Tough to push out, considering that there's one in 90, one going up red stairs. Nice little push. He's gonna down simple. Did he get the other one? He does. That's wow, a, nice double kill. From that's a fools. double. Nice. That is yep. perfect. How you hold? That's perfect. How you hold uh, 90 right there. So that's probably this red one. Uh, on to the next one, eh? That's it. But quite, uh, yeah. you never know. We got some good guns on the. the Attacking side, but uh, somebody goes down. That's uh, Yana plush cap off the board. So looking pretty scarce on the attacking side Yeah, um At this point they just need to try to see what happens He's going to die to that man on the stairs or the man on the weird angle. Maybe a little bit of both Um, that'll be deep fused down. That's a, that's a kill for the weighted blanket. That's a certainly a start. I'll make it too. Okay. All right don't call to come back. We've been here before. Um, 1v5? 1v5? Oh! Okay. Next Just up, trying to stuff. open some holes in the floor, see if he can maybe catch someone off guard. If he can get a pick through the floor here, this suddenly turns into a very winnable situation. He's got 50 seconds. That's a lot of time left on the board. Slowly makes his way down Astro Stairs. Peeking around towards the big grandfather claw. Bomb has been He's going to be going through kitchen, and I'm assuming, yes, this Malusi will already catch him off guard, and uh, they know exactly where he is. He's going to nade it off, and uh, this is going to be a really tough push. All three guns pointed in this direction. He Attack might not have seen that first bomb. one. Okay. It's very close. He does see the one behind the bomb. Doesn't get any damage off of it, actually. And uh, he's got 20 seconds left. He's going to just have to rush through art and see what takes him. He really doesn't have much choice here at this, this point. There's a C4, he shoots it out of the air. Nice, but uh, nothing coming. He does not get a refrag from that C4. He's gonna go around and immediately get brought down by a shotgun. And uh, I fought the good fight there. He came really close uh, to picking up a couple of kills. Yep, yeah, that was pretty close. <laughs> the 
<laughs> that he was probably thinking, oh my god, I didn't think he was going to go that far. Mm. Uh, but two shotgun kills will will do from that range. And uh, yeah, we're going to see a 2-2 scoreline coming up. This is really close. We're going to have to see, does it stay this close after this round? So obviously somebody's going to have to win. Somebody's going to have to go up 3-2. Do they keep that rolling? I guess we're going to have to find out. Yeah, they could. They could. They never really know, though. Someone, someone's going to win their third round here, that's for sure. Exactly. Somebody's going to win their third round. But, who's it going to be? Defenders. Where are we going? Uh, it back looks down. like... I'm not mistaken. Are they going back? No, they're going Aviator. Okay, so we're going to go Aviator on the side of Parenthetical. We're bringing back the Pulse this time. They do seem to be liking that Pulse. So, uh... It's it has not worked. So it has not worked, yeah. It's, uh, well, I mean, two rounds. <laughs> two rounds, it hasn't worked as well as it would. But the other ones, yeah, it's fine. Well, uh... Yeah, well. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. They still got the Malusi. They still got everything else that they were using before. The Mute. The, uh, I believe that's Smoke. Yeah, it's Smoke. Uh, Jaeger and Malusi, which I already said. And, uh, yeah, pretty much the same lineup coming through from the attackers as well. Oh, well. Looks like the attack's coming in from the bedroom side. They're gonna just go... Uh, basically a reverse of what they did last time. Uh, exact mirror of it. Come in on the, the bedroom side and make their way over towards the aviator room. Um, hopefully they don't lose three of their people in transit like they did last time. That'd be quite tragic. This pole's absolutely getting all of the info. Seeing exactly that... And they got three people going on this side. They uh, they have that info in the bag, that's for sure. So can he can he get a C4 kill though? That's the question. That's why he's playing around here. He's waiting for somebody to get sloppy, maybe get on drones too early. Uh, yeah, it's the, this is, he's in a really good spot, I'd say, until somebody tries to push him out. But yeah, it doesn't look like the attackers are paying him any mind whatsoever. Yeah. Um, they're they're, they're content to just go about their merry way here. They'll just, still just easily just, you know, just drone around. We got the ash over here by Trophy. Pulse is about to see form on his drone, oh, man. I saw the pulse. Oh, there he goes. There we go. That's a good Me. kill. I think that's the ash off the. He actually did a ton of damage to himself. But uh, hey, hey, W simple. stock, man. W stock. He got the dub there. You got the dub. Simple's off the board. Ash gone. Three breach charges off the board. I say that's a. I say that's a win. That's another C4 going out. A little bit of damage going to Tickle Chicken. But other than that, wow, way to blink it on the other side of the map. Getting taken down. Will he get finished off? Yes, he will. And, uh, oh, that's a bad spot on the main stairs. Smoke on one side, uh, pulse on the other. No, never mind. Oh, that was a whole Oh, we all got debated. Yeah. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Flush cat. Getting down. Will be finished off by the shotgun. Pickle chicken and going trying to push through this 90 hall. You see tickle chicken trying to hold that nice angle onto the main stairs from 90. Going trying to push into aviator. At this point, it's uh, it's gonna be pretty difficult. 2v5, we've seen this before, it did not work well for them in the end. Okay. All right, first pick, and they actually get into vault. So somehow they're in vault and might be able to plant if able, but no, we're going to see the flank coming out. And that's going to be the Zofia down, Abana getting one kill, but cannot get the second. Taken out in a 1v3 situation. It was close, but uh, no cigar. Yeah, um, they, they fought the good fight-ish, and, uh, and down they go. Yeah, they actually had they a lot of control. The and that's, that's, a, that's a start. Yeah, they had a lot of control for a little bit, but then whoever was on flank just absolutely annihilated them, and that was that. So, uh, yeah, round done. And uh, it looks like Parenthetical going to get their third round. So, uh, yeah, it was looking like 
I mean, they could still have a strong half. I was going to say that Salute, looking like they were having a really strong half, right? Uh, mm. They had two attacking uh, two attacking rounds uh, throughout three, looking real strong. And then they gave up two more, and uh, that's not terrible, not great. But uh, no, they it's still get another one badly. to end three. Many bombs they had a couple yeah, of close sure. wins. Um, the last couple of rounds haven't been pretty, um, for sure. It seems like... Uh, J-Man in the parentheses have been uh, finding their groove, so to speak, uh, and really been shutting them down. But, I mean, there's certainly one more round for the attackers. Maybe that continues, maybe it doesn't. Um, regardless, when things switch over to the other half, we can see a whole new rhythm come out of, uh, come out. Maybe uh, once uh, the defenders get to more set the, um, set the scene and, um, Leaves the parentheses for for trying to set the pace of play. Things okay. good. Take a pretty drastic change. Er, talking about drastic changes, attacking lineup has undergone undergone a drastic change. We are seeing a zero and a jackal come out. So that is a lot different than what they've had all series. We have not seen a zero or a jackal uh, within this series. So that's two operators that could change this. Uh, the whole outcome of this round, if uh, played correctly, we I don't know uh, if they're gonna expect. Well, they're gonna expect at least one of them. I don't know which one was six pick, but it's uh, it's pretty yeah, drastic I like, change, I'd say. I like Zero. He does bring a lot of a lot to the table, um, bomb located by attacker. which is always this nice. So nice. This gun is so nice. This gun is so nice. Yeah, the gun is nice. The gadgets are great, um, especially when you have like a team that knows how to use them, right? Um, which is always good. He's like a good flank. He's a good uh, information. He can Attacker clear Jaeger devices, or my devices, all that good stuff. So yeah, understandable why they want to bring him into play. Uh, we'll have to see how well he's utilized, though. So, oh, prep phase is over. Um, and Gummy and J-Man are dead. Wow. Oh my goodness, even more. The Nun Titan going yeah, down as well. 3v2. 3v2. 4v2. 4v2. Oh, oh make, that, make that. Oh, no, no. nice shot there by uh, the Tickle Chicken. Alright. Once again, can't can't stress enough how cool a name that is. Big fan of Tickle Chicken. <laughs> oh, and wow. the last man, he's a uh, Wish Blash taking a bath, and uh, Tickle Chicken will ruin his night there for sure. Um, no champagne Tenacity. and bubbles for that guy. Tenacity said it in, in chat. He said, you know what? Probably going to end 3-3. And just like that. Look at that. We got 3-3 half. That was, a, that was a great attacking half on the side of uh, Salute. And uh, we'll have to see if uh, Parenthetical can bring it back on their attacking runs now. That was, uh, yeah. I'd say that's a... I mean, you can't get more even than that, right? So... Um, maybe, on, maybe on kills, maybe on kills, but yeah, right. it could be slightly more even. Um, and that both numbers are odd. You see three, three, both odd numbers. I don't see anything even about it actually. <sighs> Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> Boomer trade coming out. I mean, you know what? We're going for the content here. That's that's about. The the best we can do eh? that's a that's a dad joke you know you gotta live with the dad jokes sometimes and you know great great dad joke Trey. that was you, you're gonna you're killing it on that end no, that's, anyway uh, anyway we'll, we'll move on and uh and uh and dad jokes yeah go hand in hand right either way we're gonna see uh salute start their first defensive round Going with trophy statue. Now, uh, if we if we remember, we saw parentheticals. They started downstairs in kitchen, so a little bit different of a start on both teams. I have to see. Uh, does that make a difference? Uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, it will make some difference, seeing that they're they're in a different bomb site. Um, all right, all right, all right. That's right. The key difference. Well. <laughs> well Interesting, we've been seeing Iana out of both teams, though. What do, what do you make of that, Drew Bear? I don't know. I mean, we've seen her on Consulate. We didn't see her at all in Oregon. That's the one weird thing. It was like, we saw her in Consulate. We see her here in Villa. But we didn't see her at all in Oregon, so super weird. Um, 
I'm not too sure. Maybe they're just looking for extra info. Maybe that's just a good way to get a drone out the board or something. I don't know. That's just comfort picks, maybe. I mean, the G36 and the ARX, both very good guns. I mean, so, entry yeah. to drones is kind of cool. Yeah, to an extent. Not what essentially it comes out to. Attackers have dropped a lot of yeah, drones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, a lot of drones, yeah. But I mean, you could do the same thing with Zero as well, right? You have a lot of drones, cameras, etc. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I think Zero is yeah, a much better operator than Yana, but that, that's, yeah. I that's mean, uh, for another day. Yeah, in their, in their case, they think uh, Yana's a good pick for this, so I'll have to see if it really is. Man, this is really good control on the side of parentheticals right now. They're just trying to get this execution out, but the Cade will stop one of the pushes downstairs. That's the Yana that we were talking about. Lots of explosions and an explosion onto the site as well. <laughs> we're going to have to see. Where, did they actually, they didn't even push on the site, did they? No, they used a lot of the utility, the stuns and stuff, um, but never actually made a push. Oh, real there's somebody downstairs. Right there. Yeah, real pop gun attack there, which is not great. They do get uh, the tickle chicken off the board. That's a big pick there. He's been a real thorn in the side, and he comes flying in, and ooh, big kill by Cade there. That really turned the tides back in their favor. Um, Flurry kills one apiece. Um, we seem to be new, uh, missing a few parentheses at this point. Um, certainly going to be a syntax error on this one, and uh, three v one situation or two v one situation for uh, the uh, Slew Gaming. Yeah, simple's really low health. Gone is full health, so this is doable by Known Titan. He's going to play as well. He's getting hit by everything in in the moon, but he can't get it. He gets the first one, but he cannot get simple. Simple just too powerful on the Cade. That was at least a three k, if not a four k. Um, I think only I a three. three. But, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. Not too sure, but uh, yeah. Either way, it was a strong influence from the kid. Nonetheless, he uh, got quite a few kills, stopped many pushes as well. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. Take a look at this. Play it again, a, back to a more normal operator lineup all around. Mm -hmm. For now. Yeah, for now. Sick pick to a pole. Hmm. Pulse and the ash to a Yana as well. Fascinating. So, still trying to breaching charges. Yeah, charges. Yeah, yeah. Any yeah any they any instead game. of breaching charges, they're gonna go with those infinite drones that Trag was talking about. So, yeah. Yeah. The yeah, only th only three breaching charges on the board is contrasted to the the twelve we often saw from or salute. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> Sledgehammer, Zofia with breaching charges, all the... Oh, that, if you count the sledge, stuff. that makes, uh, what, 27 breaching capabilities? Or 37, actually, sorry, 25 from sledge. Either way, that's a lot, right? So... Yeah. Uh, 4 C4s out of, uh, which is, which is always interesting, too. We haven't been seeing a lot of C4s been used well, but, um, they're bringing them. We also haven't seen Bandit, so this is, uh, I think this is the first time we've seen Bandit this series as well. So, uh, bringing it out for the dining kitchen, and he's going to be placing all of his, uh, all of his batteries up on that statue wall, which they have completely reinforces, and I'm assuming just playing, uh, playing hard hold upstairs. Also... On the attacking side, we have two hard breaches, and this just looks like a rush on the site. Antheticals getting two kills already off the board, and uh, it looks like no Titan will get down, but he's immediately refragged Attackers because Simple going down as well. It's just a mass amount of kills. Diffuser going down a 1v4, and the round's over. We didn't even get to see half of that, <laughs> but yeah, that was that was quick. Wow, 4-4. Four, four. That was interesting. That was a, I mean, really good call on the side of parentheticals. Uh, and it looks like we're going to be calling for a rehost here as uh, it just looks like it's too much for the players of parentheticals. Even though they won the round, uh, calling for a rehost, I don't know if that was a disconnect from a player or what that was. Uh, either way, we will see 4-4 um, on the uh, four four on the board. So, yeah. Interesting.
We should probably was, uh, uh, cut to a break or something. Yeah. Yeah, I I, yeah. I agree. We'll have to see. All right, back. welcome back, yeah. everybody. We are in the middle of map three with uh, Salute Gaming uh, and the parenthetical or parentheticals. Both haven't taken uh, one round apiece. We have a four-three scoreline on Villa right now in the in the middle of a, a real barn burner of a game here. There's a four-four now. I believe it's four-four now. Um, we're in the middle of a rehost due to a sound bug, but we should be back up momentarily. And so as we, uh, with a 4-4 score here, uh, sorry, some, some more technical, technical difficulties all around here. It's been, a, it's been an adventure of a game with a, a caster free feed freezing, but we've been having a, we've having a great time with some great teams trying to make things work. Um, really enjoyed our time here. Um, 
So with this game, we saw Parentheticals take map number one, which was not their pick, uh, Oregon, by a score of uh, seven to one. But then uh, Salute Gaming made a massive uh, bounce back in game number two, taking that by a seven two scoreline. Uh, which brings us to map number three, and it's been back and forth, uh, Seesaw Fair, which has been a lot of fun to watch. Um, I'm heading into the rehost 4-4. Four, four. Uh, Treeba, are you back with me? I am back. I had a little bit of mic difficulties, but I'm back nonetheless. Uh, so, yeah, uh, like you said, 4-4. Four, four, closest one we've seen uh, all day. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can keep that going. And... Uh, as you said before as well, the other ones were not as close. So, yeah, we've been seeing a been seeing a great game, a lot of close rounds, um, some really great plays. Uh, Tickle Chicken and J Man, especially, stand out as some some real impact players for the first couple of maps, and they're off to a great start in round number two as well. Um, it's been a real pleasure to watch. Oh, it's third map, so round number th- round three, technically, Trey. I mean, yeah. come on. Course. Come on, Troy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Numbers are hard. I, I, you know, we we share we share the brain cell. It passes back between us sometimes, so it's okay. You know, sometimes you just don't have the brain cell. It's fine. It's okay. Anyway, Villa. We've seen a uh, quite a few different strats coming through. Uh, we've seen a lot of pulse. We've seen a lot of Yana. We've seen a couple vigils. We've seen what else? <laughs> Um, there's been, there's been a, there's there's been been a lot, lot of vertical play, a lot of C4 yeah. kills, um, a lot yeah. of pulls. Um, it's been, uh, we just saw a crazy rush strat come out from Parentheticals before the rehost, which was a lot of fun, just uh, barging their way on through. There, we've seen some really interesting things, a lot of unique stuff that you, you don't expect to see out of the game, which has been really cool to see. Um, by the way, a quick thank you to all of you joining us from the, uh, the main feed. We appreciate you all coming out here to... To drop by, show us some support. We are we're looking forward to hopefully bringing you some really great content here in map number three. Appreciate all the follows as well. The host from Hans, that's uh, means a lot to me, nonetheless. So uh, yeah, you guys, uh, you guys are the best. So thank you, nonetheless. Hopefully, we can get into this game uh, as soon as you can. I'm ready. Treg, are you ready? Oh yeah, I am mega ready. I'm mega ready as well. We have four four on the board. We're going back to villa we just saw a crazy rush strat and uh, we're gonna get right into of course. it uh, so once again salute gaming the team in blue uh parentheticals aka aj man in the parentheses over in orange um still our favorite band um looking <laughs> forward to a great conclusion to this this pretty entertaining series here yeah so we are also gonna see dining room kitchen okay yep. so i don't remember is this the same this is exactly where oh, we, just saw, we just saw the big rush strat onto this, right, uh, right, right. Gotcha, this bomb gotcha. site. This seems to be actually the primary bomb site of choice, um, or at least the secondary for all these teams. We've been seeing a whole lot of it, I think, more than more than the other sites. Again, a really C4 uh, vertical, oh, as they switch off from the Pulse to a Valkyrie. Still a, still a Nitro Cell heavy lineup. We've been seeing a lot of vertical play um, from the defenders, not just the attackers like we've been expecting. Um, and, of course, bringing just the... Bring just the one in hard breaches they have been with the Habana. Um, a lot of fragging potential with the Iana, with the Zofia, um, and with the uh, Ash as well. Ash. Yep, a lot of, lot of gun power there. Um, so look forward to, to seeing what they got to offer here. We also got a lot of breaching charges again. Look, we got, we got some on Zofia, we got some on Ash. We also got, you know, breaching charges from... Ash is just regular tactical ability, and you know it's just a lot. You know we we said that before. We, they bring a lot of stuff, man. They bring a lot of stuff. But, well, they've been see. they've been opting not to bring bring a buck or a sled. That's true. Um, but I've been liking the pick of at least with this setup, a couple of reaching charges always makes sense. And did you have the nomad? The claim was so factored as much. Yeah, Take a look sure. at this and, uh, setup. We we're seeing a lot of uh, uh, Malusi traps up above um they're gonna continue with a pretty similar vertical hold it seems uh we've been seeing a lot of cross map pushes as per per standard coming out of study so uh let's let's see what else they have to offer here and we're gonna have to see as we saw before this site got heavily rushed on the side of parentheticals they just kind of 
didn't really give a crap. They just got into sight really quickly uh, and just kept refragging anybody that got down. They got picks before that, and it was just kind of a wrap once they got into sight. Uh, a lot slower this time around, as uh, nobody's actually inside this time. Uh, not yet, at least. Yeah, this time last round, uh, I believe the bomb was down. Yeah. And so, uh, here we are, this attack slowing the drone and getting a feel for this defensive setup. Um, they really just go try to look for that weak point and once they find the breach, push it hard. Oh, somebody died. Or at least it sounded like they died. Yep, there we go. Okay, I don't know who it is because my, my screen is frozen, but, uh, we heard at least one go down. Not sure what side, but, uh, that goes on. Located a bomb. Wait, is it's a 4v2? A whole lot of death going on over here. <laughs> it's the... Holy smokes, okay. Alright, I'm starting to get a little glimpse of what's going on. Yep. Here we are. Uh, it seems like Ticklin' Chicken was the one to fall, but uh, Simpful and uh, Blanket being the ones to pick up some frags here. Um, leaving Gummy on almost no health and McFoles here to try to, to try get this clutch up. Holy smokes, yeah, that's a... Uh... That's, uh, that's pretty fast, considering we were only gone for a couple of seconds. So, uh, yeah, 2v4 situation is going to be tough on the side of the attackers, for sure. And one actually down, going down. Goes, yeah, down goes Gummy. I think that was a Nitro Cell just, just catching a little bit of him with such low HP. Uh, a strong breeze would have knocked him over. I'm sorry, Drew, yeah. Attackers have recovered their so it looks like he's going to get picked back up. Easy enough. He's still got uh, his utility left. He's still got... Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll do a bit. <laughs> Alright. Well, it's uh, all down to his pulls. He has full health. Uh, he's got a couple drones as well. So uh, if he needs to, he's just going to hop right into uh, the uh, bikes area. Going to go right in the red stairs through a little hole that he found. Shoot a little through art and absolutely just get mowed down from... The, uh, the living room side actually so yeah salute gonna take that round and we're gonna see 5-4 yeah great round there from the defenders we think just uh, locking down that top floor <laughs> um, and uh, keeping those attackers from from getting up above by the time they'd taken top control they had no HP and a little bit of time but obviously just down so bad in manpower there's no way they're gonna be able to to make that execute there they, they're hoping to there was still a lot of C4s on the board by the time that it was 2v4. That's how they were able to down and then kill off. Uh, I believe it was Gummy, so... Yeah, a lot of C4s coming through. That's uh, that's pretty massive. All right, take a look. Uh, uh, seems like we're running pretty consistent lineups here, Attackers which is... Um, it's, it's working, keep running. They're going back up to to the trophy site here. Um, not a lot of teams playing AV at their games, which has been uh, really peculiar. Why do you think that's been? Uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, I mean, there's even a mirror on the board, which is even more um, confusing to me, right? They have Mira, but they're not going AV at games. Maybe they're just not comfortable on site with the Mira. Either way, uh, I just, I, I can't really understand it. They've been bringing Pulse, they've been bringing everything else. So, uh, it, it is quite weird, yeah. Ten seconds remaining. And, uh, taking a look at this Five setup, looks like they're gonna be trying to anchor from below. Um, they didn't bring the pulse this time around, but with all those C4s, um, it makes a lot of sense to actually just jump off that middle, uh, through that little middle courtyard, run under and throw C4 as needed, and, uh, try to keep them from opening up the walls from below. Um, the below is the best way they're gonna have to take out those gates, seeing that the poor statue's been moved. Yeah, and we'll have to see. We did get teased to Cali earlier, didn't come to fruition. But yeah, it seems like, I mean, they've still been making their way around these uh, Cades and Bandit batteries anyway. So uh, we'll have to see. Can they be stopped this time around? Because there are a few, uh, a few couple people downstairs. So 5v5 as we've, we've still made very little progress into this round. Um, defenders still all over the place, and uh, Tickle Chicken uh, brings down the Zofia right away. That's a huge pick. That's a lot of that entry fracking power off the board, uh, leaving a lot of it on the shoulders of uh, McFoles to try to make things happen here. Um, Salute Gaming now with a 5-4 lead, trying to bring this closer and closer towards the series win. Um, getting that opening frag is just keeping that momentum building. 
slowly and steadily. Attack is trying to push in, but the uh, defender's right there to keep them at bay. We see Golan moving around the shield as well. They're, they're playing this uh, pretty smart as we see uh, attackers downstairs, making sure they can get that wall open as soon as they can. Still taking a while. We hear a little bit of a Jaeger rattle going off. But other than that, nobody taking any more damage. It's just kind of standstill at this point. Yeah, you are trying to find an opening. Um, it looks like they're just going to need to try to bully their way through astronomy and hope for the best. There's not a lot of solid options here when it comes to how to make this push happen. So I have quite a few people on site on the side of Salute Gaming. They have uh, C4s on the board and everything. Two are gone, but two are left. So either way, it's going to be massive play. It looks like Tickle Chicken in a really aggressive angle is going to find one. No, somebody else did. Either way, Simple is going to go down. J-Man goes down. And just a bunch more kills going down. It's going to be a 2v3 on the side of the defenders. It turned around so quickly for the defenders. I don't even think they know what happened. Anyway. Yeah, a dramatic turn of the tides here puts a... Uh... Puts parentheticals in a massive advantage here. Flush cap and uh, weighted blanket going to be the ones to try to hold this out. They do get that big pick onto McFulls. That's a huge one. Really stops the bleeding there and brings it back into an even situation. With only 20 seconds left, they could definitely hold this out. C4, C4 go goes out. in and an aggressive C4 peak. He'll get punished for it. Weighted blanket will get one, but uh, be finished off by Gummy. And that is parentheticals bouncing back. And hey, we still got to tie a game here. I know it's just key it just keeps going farther and farther now we should explain this is overtime if you guys do not know exactly so if it hits six six we have to go into overtime um and that'll be a best of three so if ones those two are gonna be obviously the winners but it's still far away we still have at least two rounds before we get to that point nonetheless we're gonna see uh we're gonna see salute try for the trophy statuary bomb site once again this is the site they just lost on so they thought maybe they can just make a couple few adjustments and uh be right as rain they did yeah, they switch were... momentum really quickly didn't they they're off to an amazing start but things just oh boy did they fall apart real quick there just a flurry of... oh yeah oh yeah almost too much it almost seemed like they were just not ready for the push for some reason i don't like you said they they had to kind of bulldog their way on the site right and it just i guess it worked <laughs> i guess this parenthetical we're just like or, uh, not parenthetical salute we're just kind of sleeping at the wheel for a second i don't i'm a little perplexed by that mm, yeah they got the job done eh? it's all sometimes all that matters crude but effective yeah exactly you can be a you can be a bull as long as you uh, take out everything in your path <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh as we get ready here um yeah it looks like they're going for a heavy down low setup again and uh, a little bit of a change up here from parentheticals even though they just pulled off the win i think they realized they were probably a little bit lucky to do so and are going for a big strategic mix up and uh coming in from the uh the aviator side of things they're gonna have to be really careful though that valkyrie's got a bullet hole peak and j man will pay the price oh that's nasty that's iron price pay the iron price j man was not expecting that i could have been avoided obviously uh he's got those drones didn't really drone out too much apparently and uh bullet holes very hard to see can't uh, can't quite counter those at the moment so uh yeah yeah no it's a bad situation lazarus will do a little bit of damage on the plush cap they found him out down below um but he's got a lot of wiggle room here to to retreat and avoid the hunt Still seeing a little bit of hesitation, I'd say, from parenthetical. They, like you said, they won that last round, but they're playing it super strategically. So, slowing it down, making sure they get all of their angles, making sure they get all of their their checklists done, uh, it must be very crucial, especially at this point in the uh, in the game. Especially, I mean, five five, you can't get much more close than that. Mm. Yeah, this is a big round right here. Whoever takes this brings on the match point, and at worst, we'll get overtime. 
not worse. I mean, it's not really worse. I mean, you get more siege, right? That's just uh, just the nature the nature of the beast. I'd say uh, I'd say people like to watch them siege. So as our screen remains frozen for the time being, we uh, anticipate that something happened. In fact, a defender, two defenders died while we were gone. Make that three, um, leaving Tickle Chicken in a 1v4 situation. No, we're, we're just trial by fire right here. Tickle Chicken takes out one. Uh, now in a 1v3 with 45 seconds left. It's not a good situation, seeing that the diffuser just got planted. Um, but I guess it could be worse. Starting to make some noise here. Takes a fight with known Titan. Isn't able to get the kill, but deals some damage and comes out with all his health. He's gonna back up, reassess, and repush. Shots are firing everywhere off the board, but in the end, he's still pushing through. He's got three to find, and it's not gonna be very easy. And something happened, and the screen froze. So it sounds like the round is over. I didn't assuming think that Pete. The round ended, yes. Yeah, so I'm assuming that we did not get a tickle chicken clutch, and it will be parenthetical on mash point now. Either that, or there's like an absolutely nutty tickle chicken clutch, and you'll get to see it. And <laughs> you guys well, actually right. You'll be seeing it right now. What was that? Either way. Tickle Chicken did not win. <laughs> the sad words come oh, in, shit. and uh, yep. Okay, so Parentheticals got this. Uh, got this at match point. Off to a strong start in this series. Uh, fell apart in the mid, but they they're about to lock it down. Uh, if they can win this next round, of course. Uh, if uh, uh, Salute takes it, we are once again going into a, a quick best of three overtime. This team does, or these two teams do have a history of overtime. In their first matchup together, they did go into overtime, and I believe it was. I'm blanking on who it was, but it was an 8 6 outcome in the end. Uh, they said it was a barn burner, uh, having to win six rounds to get to overtime, and then winning the next two. I don't. I'm, I apologize for not knowing who that is, but either way, crazy game. So maybe we'll even see uh, an even nuttier game because this has been just down to the wire every single round. I mean, and it's been two two, it's been three two, it's been all the way up to five five. Now we have six five for parenthetical, and it's just. On back and forth, and it's been a really, really good map three. Yeah, as uh, as the round starts up, trying to, it looks like a pretty standard roam setup here from the defense. One plane over in bedroom, one plane more in nah, actually one plane bottom red. All right, I might, I might try to do a bottom red hold, and it seems like the attackers are all just coming in from right below the bomb site. This could be a this could be interesting depending on how they want to play this. They do have the capability of playing from below. They have the Ash. Well, they got nades if they need to, and they have two hard breachers. So this could be an interesting setup coming through. As we've seen nades coming through to no, no prevail, nonetheless. There's nobody over there. But uh, obviously they thought something was up there. I mean, why else would they throw it? And uh, yeah, they're just going to keep playing below at this point. Yeah, again, uh, trying to get set up. They've they've burned about a minute, and they don't have much to show for it. Some of the roamers uh, making their way back towards the bomb site. Uh, Tickle Chicken coming in on a flank here. Um, there is a Nomad that will probably lock him down. Uh, maybe even get him killed if he's not careful here. Uh, but if he plays his cards right, he could have a really nice flank. Tell everybody alive at this point. We don't have a clear winner of this round yet. As uh, attackers still playing downstairs inside library slash main stairs slash pottery. And uh, yeah, they're just slowly taking this as they have minute 20 left. They know that there's somebody on that shield. So they're trying to play this nice and cautious at this point. Still people in 90 roaming everywhere else. And no damage at this point still minute 10 left but that's not a lot of time left for the attackers yeah the, the scoreboard doesn't show any discernible advantage with only a minute left in a 5v5 you certainly got to say the defenders are in a good spot here uh, especially since the attackers still don't have a clear avenue into the bomb site they haven't breached any walls um really all they have is below the bomb site in the staircase um so there's not really much to say for it um it's going to be a real meat grinder here down at the end Still having our screen frozen. We hear quite a lot of stuff going off. 
sounds like a thermite charge might have gotten impacted, if I'm not mistaken. If not, the wall is open and there are people going down. There's a 4v4 and a C4 as well as Big Foles getting off the board, so hard breach off the board, but there's not a lot of time left. Anyway, defenders are dropping at a slow rate, but there's a flank coming through from Neil Lazarus. He gets at least one, and it brings the defense down to two people. One people or one person left. It is the Jaeger all the way downstairs. Tickle Chicken has been a crucial part. There is a man down, but Known Titan getting that diffuser all the way down. It looks like it, and he actually gets no. it in the last second! Salute gets it through the wall! No way he got that at the last second! That was so close! Holy smokes, what was that? I didn't even see the ash. I'm pretty sure that was a wall bang. I don't know. Either way... He had a little hole open in the wall, and he was able to get a little bit of an uh, angle on him, put a couple shots into the diffuser, and uh, that it's just enough to down him and, and take him off of it. Tickle chicken. And, uh, clutching. Tickle up. chicken. A tickle, clay, uh, tickle chicken, whatever. Yeah, you, okay. I, I messed up already. Let's just go. Let's just move on. Anyway, overtime. We made it to overtime. Yeah. Uh, over time, we've seen this go actually pretty even. It's been, what, 3-3 three, three on both halves, so you can't say either team has a discernible advantage, but we will see Salute Gaming start on defense, which is historically the slightly better option, of course. Um, they will be electing to start at, I believe that's Trophy. Um, so, usually a strong choice. Um, uh, aviators, it, they've won Aviator. I mean, I guess the last round was... I don't want to call it a fluke, it was, but not it was necessarily a, a winning strategy. I would say it's a miracle. Dude, I don't know, it's full miracle grade. I'd say it was improbable. I mean, okay, improbable. Either way, if he didn't hit that shot, call. game over. This game it over wasn't a there. religious experience. Ten seconds. Okay, okay. all right. It was good. It was good. Don't get Maybe it was for them. Five seconds left. Maybe they were like screaming hallelujahs in the next room over. We don't know. <laughs> Everyone converting to the ch ch tickle chicken. Tickle chicken, dude. He, he's got his own following now. He's gonna be. He's gonna be. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna go with, with, there with that joke. But that's, that's yeah, a bad one. Yeah, that's a Yeah, yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, let's skip on that. Anyway, you see tickle chicken just looking at a corner. Nice, very cool. It's, uh, it looks like we have a little bit of downstairs presence once again. Simple, taking a lot of damage. Okay, simple. He's uh, gonna back off. Otherwise, I think that was through two walls, if I'm not mistaken. It looked like he got shot on Astro stairs. So uh, impressive, impressive. Mm, very. Either way, simple. Only one taking damage so far. Yeah, a little bit of a slow start to this round. We do see the uh, ash down below trying to, to make some progress on getting this wall open. It seems they've identified the K to charge. But uh, K's actually been picking it up, and I think he might be trying to K trick this wall. Attackers have located Ballsy. the bomb. I like it. Simple. He's actually sh the blast area. shot back down through the floor and been able to do a little bit of damage back down onto this ash. Ooh. And, ooh, Wow, nice peek there. Uh, catches the ash with the breaching charge out, and uh, that will be the death of Known Titan. Good play by a uh, weighted blanket to, to time that right and, and pick up the more or less free kill. I like that. Catch him with his breaching charge out. But, and, uh, yeah, oh. tables are turned right back, and again, Malusi shot on Astro Series with the back turn, so. Uh, pair of corpses lying there, and uh, the round carries on, but 4v4 with a minute 15 left, walls still mostly closed? It's open, just just the teensy we see a spit. Um, things are going to be very interesting here as we go down through the round. I just caught a little tiny glimpse right before our, freeze, our, our screen froze. It looked like the smoke took a lot of damage, so unfortunately... I, I bet he died, to be quite honest. He might have, he might have died, I don't know, he's... Nope, he's alive. Still he alive? Today, though. No, oh, now anyway, dead. <laughs> and we're in a we're in a four v. Oh, make that a four v one. Oh my goodness, we need to stop talking. Every every time we talk, people die. Um, Tickle Chicken uh, doesn't have any more magic left in the bag, and uh, down he goes. And the parentheses, the parentheticals, 
uh, on match point. They got to win one of the next two rounds to take this win. All down to Salute Gaming going on to the attack this time. We'll have to see, do they have enough gusto to get through this round? Where is Parentheticals going to go? They are going to go down to Dining Room Kitchen. They did win this uh, their first time that they went there. They're probably thinking the same thing. Hey, never know. Yeah, it'll be happened. interesting to see how this round plays out um, down here. Taking a look at the operator lineups again, bringing the, the Pulse, the Mute, the Malusi, lots of C4s, lots of explosives. Going to try to just go try to play this down from above or below, hold up top as long as they can. And uh, I mean, they've, we've seen that they've been able to do a great job running out the clock and then holding them in the transition game. Um, the attacker is not really able to get back downstairs after they've after they've taken their map control. Um, and part of that is, uh, I believe it's been the Malusi. Um, the Coles has been playing really well upstairs just to get a couple of picks with them. Uh, same with uh, J-Man, the Jaeger. Um, both of them have been getting kills and wasting time, so that by the time the attackers get upstairs, it's too much damage has already been done for them to recover. So look for, look for that to be the key here. If the attackers can clear them out quickly without losing too many bodies themselves, they'll be in good shape. But if, uh, if they lose too many bodies too early, it's going to be, it's going to be another tough round. Five seconds remaining. I think the Malusi might be kind of like a counter to them banning Clash. We gotta remember they they did ban Clash, and they play Clash at least a little bit, you know. So maybe the Malusi is kind of like, oh, hey, uh, I was gonna say maybe the Malusi is like a Clash alternative, which she kind of is. But in the meantime, known Titan. Some parenthetical is gonna go down. That's smoke off the board as well. Okay, uh, that's a huge pick, considering the place or their uh, their bomb site that they're on. Yeah, no, that's a massive pick right there. Um, that's another reason the transition game has been so weak is that smoke's been keeping them at bay, and um, obviously if smoke's taken off the board, those gas canisters won't be able to delay as long. Um, so still moving kind of slowly. It's taking them probably about 40 seconds to even take into study um they're gonna really need to pick up this pace here because that uh that jaeger and the malusi are still gonna be causing problems mcfoles all the way down the library bathroom area and he's just kind of chilling for right now he's trying to keep that extended hold alive pulse getting really good info i believe that was uh i believe that was the ash simple so yeah he knows exactly where they're trying to push from you see uh See weighted blanket trying to get on the astro window and do something. Yeah, simple. And Gollin both on on, on both stairs, but Gollin actually going to get taken out from library and immediately barricaded that as well. So uh, he will have a lot of info if anybody tries to push him back out. Yes, and uh, without that hard breach, it's definitely going to be a lot trickier to to make this happen. But the hard breach. Not entirely important on this site if you can if you can get the control from above, um, but they really haven't gotten it yet. With only a minute left, they don't have much map control to their name, at least not map control relevant to their take. Uh, oh, okay, really wait, concerning wait. here. I was about to say diffuser is down, but they just got it, so disregard. Yeah. Um, I think they're gonna just gonna need to try to ape their way into bomb site like we've seen a few times here. Um, the sludge may be able to make something happen from laundry, but. None of these avenues of assault are looking all that promising at this point. Tight angle coming through, and there's just a big gunfight. But it will be McFoles that falls. Plush Cat getting a nice kill. He's prepping a nade for something. There's a Malusi on the ground. So he's going to use a little bit of utility to take away a uh, Malusi. Weighted blanket on Repel taking a lot of damage. Just a lot of damage coming through on the attacking side. And they are just low health, all of them. They're only a couple shots each. Yeah, clock's second here. Time to really try to make a play. Um, they have the man advantage to the attackers, but time um, and HP is certainly not on their side. Only 15 seconds left. They're going to need to start making something happen. Two of them in pantry. Uh, now two of them onto the bomb site. One of them will go down, but one of them gets a kill. It's all going to be down to Neo on the flank, and he takes down one, uh, but the plant is down as well. Neo Lazarus are a 1v2. He clutches this out. They win the game. If not, they go on to double overtime here, and down he goes. And uh, Weighted Blanket getting the kill, and we got our ourselves the final round of the final map what a series it's been it was a weird road to get here but by golly we made it
Holy smokes. It's been, like you said, a very challenging round for both teams. We've had uh, kind of blowouts on both sides, but man, this map has not been a blowout by any means. We got overtime match point, one last round to decide it all, and we're going to have some loot beyond defense. And here we are, uh, the final round for Todos Los Marbelos. Uh, Going to be a, a really interesting round here, to say the least. Um, thank you, everyone, by the way, for bearing with us. We know it hasn't been the, the optimal viewing experience with our um, our difficulties, but we're really looking forward. Uh, we really appreciate y'all dropping by to uh, Defenders to watch. It's been a it's been a great time. So thank you to everyone for for supporting True Bear here, um, as well as myself. It's been a it's been a real great stream. It's been a great game, and uh, I'm sure these the people at home are just waiting for this result. This has honestly just been super exciting to watch. It's been back and forth this entire uh, entire villa, villa map. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's going to be a butt puncher for both of them. Is uh, you know, it, right now it's been kind of attacker favored, especially on offense. I mean, both rounds in, on overtime have been attacker favored. So, uh, so we really got to pull their own now. Yeah. One interesting note is that for the first time this entire map, we've seen a or a map, or series, I believe. Now it's actually um, our first bandit. Um, am we I right? Saw a few, no, no, we saw a few uh, go up when they did the same site, but they had an upstairs hold, so they just put bandit batteries yeah, on the uh, trophy right. or uh, statue. Yeah, well, they're, they're bringing a super heavy C4. That's four of them now. We've seen C4s be a massive factor through this uh, this entire series, which has been... I've, I've never seen so many C4 kills in all my life. Um, look for more of the same here out of this heavy, heavy explosive defensive lineup. Yeah, four going out on the board here. The only one that doesn't have one is Weighted Blanket, but he's on Jaeger, so uh, that breaking capability is definitely there. Hmm. And we will see these attackers gathering up outside the master bedroom, trying to figure out how exactly they want to play this. Changing mechs. Uh, they're taking it slow. They don't want to overextend too much. Losing a player here is a lot bigger farther in the round. Obviously, you can get those that kill back, but it's uh, it's not going to be without a heavy price. So. Uh, and yeah. just as I say that, I hear two people going down. I'm not sure who it, okay, there's a lot more than two people going down as Diffuser goes down and it's only down to two, one person. I don't even know what's going on. Parenthetical yep. winning uh, it. Somehow we didn't get this. As our, <laughs> as our feed finally catches up with the game, we see that Parentheticals has gotten the win, 8-7 in dramatic fashion. Um, a hard fought victory to say the least. Uh, Again, big win in map one, tough loss in map two, and bringing it all the way back in map number three, going the distance and and playing strong. Um, all I gotta thank say you everyone is, for. All I gotta say, first place, Yana. First place, Yana. Mm. Gotcha. Anyway, right, well. Thank you to everyone who's coming back to watching. Make sure to follow DA League um, anywhere you can. All the social medias, uh, they're there as well as uh, to stay up to date with everything involving the league. Um, be sure to drop a follow to TreeBear4P. He did a great job casting with me tonight. I appreciate him uh, letting me take over his channel right now to do this outro, even though I guess he's technically be the host. Um, as well as you can go ahead and find me anywhere you want at TregMMG. Um, really appreciate you all dropping by. Um, thank you all for watching. Have a good one and take it easy. Are we clear? Sister Hans? <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, we're going interviews. Uh, okay. Keep oh, so we're still here. Going. Okay, man. Well, Trey goes yeah. to go. It's fine. We can uh, we can get a little bit of interview action. Tree bear to uh, to the team. It's all right. We'll see you later, Trey. Thanks for uh, stopping yeah. by and giving us yeah, just the, the, the greatest voice in in R six. All right. So who are we? Who are we getting in at the moment? Obviously, it's somebody from Parenthetical. Miss.
Gummy. Okay, we're trying to get gummy here. Um, so yeah, it's uh, as they're saying in chat, is it, is it over soon? Yes, it is almost over. So we uh, just need to do the interviews. What's that? Okay. Okay. All right, so we're going to get one of Gummy's teammates, it seems. Not sure which one, <laughs> but we'll get him. Hello. All right. All right, we got Jay, man. What's up, man? How's it going? Good. Just hanging out. How are you feeling after that uh, pretty yeah, that intense uh, win? Double OT kind of sucks, yeah. but uh, <laughs> I feel good. We uh, we excelled in a lot of like adaptability and stuff that game. So it was, um, I mean, even though it went seven or eight seven, I guess. Don't. Yeah, I don't really. Yeah, for sure, it didn't look way. it either. As it was really close. Like you guys yeah. put up a great fight, but they also did as well. Uh, tell me about the uh, the maps because uh, you guys won. If I believe, if if I'm right, uh, you guys won the one that wasn't yours, but lost the one that was yours. So it's kind of funny because we are somewhat but, um, kind of good with the maps that ended up being chosen today. So we weren't really too worried about like whose pick was what because we're all just ready for. Um, the maps that had been chosen. So we felt good about that. And we just went into it, knew what we were going to do, talked about what we were ch changing up since we had played them. I think this is our third time playing that yeah, team. Yeah, third time. And we've only, yeah, we've only played on those maps. So we talked about what we we're going to change, how we we're going to adapt to them. We didn't really counter strat, but we were talking about, hey, he likes to do this. They do this. Watch out for this and stuff like that. So Clash Ban, were you expecting the uh, Clash Ban coming through on Villa? Um, I actually didn't expect it on Villa because she's only in uh, the AVG strat. And I know she's only in the one basement organ strat, but I, th I think the Clash play is so much more powerful on the organ strat than it is the Villa one. So I was surprised to see the ban on Villa. I think they could have um, soloed out maybe a hard breach or something more effective. All right, yeah, I, uh, I agree. And uh, let's see. What's... Uh... What seemed different about this series compared to the last ones? Um, we were very fluid on the attack. <laughs> We've been working on that for a couple of days, and um, it really showed. It really showed on that Villa game. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. It came out a little bit in Consulate, um, but it really showed on like. Obviously, we jumped in that window two different times, like. That was something that we had never done before, ever, ever, like barely even in scrims. And then twice this game, we're like, hey, let's just hit memo. All five of us jump in that one window and let's just go. So that was something that we really felt strong about was our, our ability to adapt and then just fluidly move, move and adapt to what they were doing instead of like tunnel visioning on what we wanted to do because we already know our strats, but we need to be able to adapt to what they're showing us. Exactly. Yeah, that's a pretty good explanation for sure. So just remind me, uh so you guys have played three times. How yep. so what's the what's the uh what's the tally right now? Um I think we beat them the very first time. Okay. I might be wrong. We played these guys in two different leagues, so I might be getting them mixed up. <laughs> okay, okay. We gotcha. lost the most recent one. Gotcha. Uh, All right. Like last week or two weeks ago, and then we just won that one. Right, I so believe I think, we, we played them somewhere else be, where... I think it might ahead. be 2-1 them. If I'm not mistaken, it might be 2-1 them. Yeah, no, that sounds right, because I believe we played them in a different league, and um, it did not go too well for them in that one. But I do think we are 1-2 <laughs> and two in the Doll League. Okay, so you guys have had a lot of history, actually. So this goes back farther than just this one league. Yeah, actually. I believe we played them in a best of one for SCS quals, and I think we like 7-1 them on Clubhouse. Oh. So I remember seeing their name in the bracket for this league, and I was like, "Oh, freebie!" But um, they're <laughs> they're bringing it. They're bringing yeah. it. Yeah, they uh, they definitely stepped up, and uh, especially last the, the last match, not not this one today, but the last match, they absolutely slammed us. Yeah, I I was casting that one as well, and that was that was also uh, that was also kind of a barn burner, though. I mean, seven four seven oh, four seven oh, four yeah, was, for sure. Was uh was pretty nuts. So. Uh, Anything uh, you'd like to say to everybody at home, uh, your fans, all that? Um, 
Bobby Schmurda free. <laughs> shout out. Um, shout out Northside. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have anything to say. Jamie on YouTube. Man. No tying on YouTube. There you go, man. Yeah, I always plug them socials, but uh, yeah, yeah, we appreciate you having them on. Uh, congratulations on the win, GGs. Thank you, thank and, you. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys having us here and playing. It's fun. We'll look forward to you next time. See you later. Of course. See you guys later. Perfect. All right, so that's going to wrap it up. Finally, Treg was a little <laughs> early to the punch, but honestly, thank you guys so much. Uh, having Hans come to me a couple hours before and say, hey, we want to do this on your stream. Uh, I didn't really know what to think, but uh, uh, I really appreciate all the follows that I had today. The host from Hans was huge as well. Uh, I'll be streaming later tonight as well. But uh, if you liked what you see, hit the follow. I mean, uh, we got plenty more stuff going later tonight. We'll probably be playing some more games with some buddies and all that good stuff. So uh, I appreciate all of you coming, watching, following. Uh, have a good night, and we will see you next time.